Well, thank you for joining us for episode number nine of our podcast. Uh, this podcast for gecko breeders, nameless podcast still, <laughs> where we interview breeders to talk about uh, the gecko hobby side of things, as well as um, the business side of things, which a lot of people are interested in. And, you know, I think more than just talking about the gecko care and breeding, um, uh, people want to know, you know, how to grow their side hustle or full-time hustle, whatever it is. And so, yeah. Um, so yeah, we're recording on this, the, the week of pre Tinley, we're about to go to, uh, Tinley, uh, yeah. but we'll be posting this episode post Tinley. So by the time people see this, I've met you guys in person, Brent and Gabby, um, <laughs> and, uh, it'll be awesome. It's like a time, time warp. Um, you're going to get so- us like where we look like somewhat refreshed and alive. And then <laughs> yeah. afterwards, it's probably good that we, we do it. You this guys are wrecked. Yeah. We'll look a little no. like zombies. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So my name is Harry with Zero's Geckos. Um, AJ from AJD Reptiles co-host with me, but he's out today. And so today we have uh, Gabby We're and Brett. Today. Yeah, you, you yeah. guys are our co-hosts. Yeah, co-hosts real, and right? interviewers. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so we're going to make this one the best episode ever because AJ is not here. And so we got to be jealous. We're doing, we're doing all the things. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, Gabby and Brett, like um, I just want to let you guys know that, you know, when I first started, uh, searching Instagram when I was getting into crested geckos, um, you guys were the first ones that popped up, oh, and uh, I watched so all of your Q and As with AJ. Um, I, I watched them multiple times. I would just put it on oh. and just listen. Um, you had one with you know Christy and Emily. You had one with yeah, Kevin. That from was Fire really Side. fun. Yeah, you had one with Donna uh, from Crimson. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. You had one with um, Sam from Crestopia. Yeah. And um, yeah, man, I learned so much from you guys, and so I really credit you guys and. Um, AJ for teaching me and inspiring me from afar. And so now I'm thankful to be able to, you know, co-host with AJ, call him a friend and just get yeah. to chat with you guys, you know? And so, yeah. um, but yeah, how are you guys doing? Gabby and Brent, uh, how's Miles? Is he sleeping? He's, he's, sleeping. he's okay. He is. He's we got we're him good. down before we came on here. So we it's said all good. Okay. 30 minutes before we go on. Cause we're like channeling our, our previous yeah. <clears throat> old auction days where we would be oh, once in, in a while, the uh, room and putting him to bed. <laughs> he, would, oh, gotcha. he would just come running out, running across the screen and be like, I want to do the auctions. And we're like, no, 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 go to bed, please. So. <laughs> oh, that's cute. How old is Miles? He's four and a half. Mm-hmm. Okay. So oh, that's cute. Because yeah. yours are little too, right? Yeah, I have four. Um, I have, uh, well, they're not super little. I have a 13-year-old, uh, oh almost 11-year-old, almost nine-year-old, and a six-year-old. Yeah. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're definitely, that's, that's a good number of yeah. kids. I think yeah. that's amazing. I yeah, my wife that. and I, we, we paid our dues. We, uh, we did. I could totally <laughs> see that. We're so still we paying it, actually. And just do geckos forever, and that's it. Oh, man. Yeah. You so. have an army of employees coming up. You really do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they like helping out. They like uh, holding yeah. the geckos and whatnot. Um, there but, you go. Yeah, yeah. It's fun. Yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, no, I'm thankful for you guys, and, um, um, yeah, I've been really looking forward to this interview with you guys. I, I didn't want to interview, interview you guys too early. I knew that yeah. was like the simple thing to do, but Aww. I wanted to um, kind of build it out a little bit. And so there and leave kind of the heavy hitters uh, a little bit later. And uh, you guys are one of them. And, oh and so I'm, I've been looking forward to this one. So well, thank you. That was like an incredible <laughs> intro. I'm like, I'm not, you know, <laughs> yeah. but we're so yeah. happy to be here and we really appreciate yeah. the invitation. So yes. we're super yeah, excited. Yeah. Um, yeah. So if you guys have questions for me, like throughout the time, just feel free to ask me as well. But okay. I'm just learning from everybody. So I don't I don't know anything. I'm just learning okay. from you guys. So. I think you're doing great. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I also yeah. think you might need a jingle, like come up with a song. Yeah. Introduce yourself. Yeah. Yeah. A jingle. Yeah. Every, every episode, it starts with, you know, nameless podcast. AJ gives me a hard time and <laughs> we'll <Yeah>. get there. <laughs> and make a rap about it or something, you know, yeah. no <laughs> Uh, nameless. Like, I was like, oh, maybe the Gecko Podcast because nobody has that because it's so simple. I can't yeah. think of a name, but I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> and uh, let's come up it with a team. Needs tune. to be the podcast. The podcast, yeah. Hosted by Gecko people. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. It'll so, happen. yeah. It's, so, um, just a quick intro to you guys. Where were you guys born and raised? Um, I know you guys are living in. Is it Raleigh, North yeah, Carolina? Raleigh, Raleigh, North Carolina. <laughs> Raleigh. Okay, and then, um, yeah. Tell me about you guys, hobbies, things like that. You can go first because I always talk first. <laughs> yeah, no worries, no worries. Uh, I'm originally from upstate South Carolina. I moved to Raleigh in 2011, um, working in restaurants, and that's uh, where I met her at. She yeah. moved up about the same time. Oh, I was awesome. doing hair, and I moved here from South Florida, 
I used to live okay. in Boca Raton. And um, when I moved here, I was like, you know, I'm not going to know anybody. And I was a hairstylist. And I was like, yeah. I should just go back to working in the restaurants. I'll make friends. I'll meet people. And it kind of just all went from there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'll never forget Brett came over and I was like, so are you okay with reptiles? And he was like, yeah, I grew up with like a Steve Irwin loving father and all this stuff. So I was like, okay, cool. And I was like, here's a lychee. Here are my ball pythons that are breeding in the bathroom. <laughs> like I just had yeah. tubs in the bathroom. And Funny. Were you, uh, were you worried that Brett was going to think you're weird for keeping reptiles? <laughs> yeah, but honestly, I feel like if I was a guy dating a girl, it would be weirder. But like most of the time men are way like, I don't want to say easier yeah. about it, but like yeah. my girlfriends are more squeamish, but now like half of them have their own reptiles from us. So yeah, that's awesome. Valerie, well, Morgan yeah. already had snakes, but now they have geckos and like, we just have a, yeah. we have a little horde of, of other gecko people, but I um, did geckos and bred ball pythons like way before that. And it was like mm. the days of fauna classifieds and king snake and like all these like, yeah other selling platforms and that's when i was like more into it then got out of it and then we got back into it together and we said you know what awesome. this works mm -hmm. let's do it yeah 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 that's, yeah, that's awesome little, um little story yeah so brett brett you've you've been sort of keeping reptiles before or just uh, no i never have i'm from rural south okay. carolina so there was always stuff out in the yard or in the woods so I was always down with that, but to me, like all the, the snakes and lizards and whatever else was out there, like just stayed outside. You know, I, I was a regular like dog and cat person. I uh, was totally yeah. up for it, just had never, never kept happened. them before. And yeah, when I went over to her place for the first time and she had all this stuff, I was like, oh, this is awesome. I like this. <laughs> so yeah, it was it was a completely seamless transition. There was no real... Uh, um, no real like learning there curve was nothing or weird. lifestyle curve and like, everything. Yeah, it was never weird. At I don't want to do it this. Natural. Yeah. Yeah. There was a few times where I would get more geckos and he's like, Gabby, you have to stop. And I'm like, That's cool, now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't even, don't even. It was when we first started, he was like, I am the one taking care of them. I was like, I know, but you do such a good job. <laughs> and I was like, more. <laughs> well, let's get more in all honesty well our original objective was like let's breed cresses because that's what i knew what to do mm -hmm. to get more lychees like we wanted to like kind of yeah. like transition mm -hmm. it over and then we just fell back i fell back in love with crested um just because there were so many new things like lily white and exanthic was so brand yeah, yeah. new and yeah. like uh we were like all right let's do this mm -hmm. and eventually we started doing shows and that's like oh all right i think i'm good Right. Yeah. I think you got more off board when you're like, all right, we can we can do something with this. Yeah. Also. You, get, you get to travel. You get to walk away each yeah. weekend, like with cash in hand. Like it's yeah. great. It was. Yeah, it's fun. We have a good time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that's really good. Um, mm -hmm. you, uh, Gabby. So Gabby, you do hair. Brett, you have any other hobbies besides geckos? <laughs> it's a full, it's a full -time <laughs> Nowadays, job. geckos are pretty much full time. But uh, when the geckos weather's perfect, yeah. like right about now, I'm a big fan of going out and playing uh, golf and disc golf. Um, okay. He's like annoyingly athletic. Like he's like, oh, I just golfed to like 72 today, or a, and I hit a birdie. I don't even know what these terms are. I don't know if I'm allowed to use profanity. Neither do I. Okay. From it, but WTF, honey? It's just, it's annoying. I go out and I'm like. Oh, the ball just moved. I'm cool. <laughs> That's funny. Is um is golf not disc golf, but is golf really popular out in out there as well? Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's, there's, there's golf yeah, there's a lot of really okay. good golf courses. Uh, some really some major ones around here too. Okay, I don't play any gotcha. of those. I yeah, I don't shell out that kind of money for them, but I enjoy yeah. the game. And I have a lot of friends and family who also enjoy it. So there's always a network of people to play with. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I don't, I don't know much about golf. I just know there's. We're, I live close to Carmel, and there's a. That's a oh, big. Oh, nice! Uh, I'll send bread to you. It'll be fine. Yeah, like <laughs> oh, Carmel has amazing stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's it's really it's not too far. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful out yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, that absolutely. That sounds amazing, though. Honestly, <laughs> that's cool. Um, okay, cool. Right? <laughs> What's that? Never mind. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so yeah. So you guys got into the hobby. You, you already. You guys were kind of uh, already had. Gabby, you had reptiles already, so it was easy for yeah. you to move into the yeah. cresteds. And uh, Brett, you were super chill with it. And totally. um, and so 
did you guys start vending shows like pretty early on or were you just like i'm gonna keep some no, maybe eventually we start them. How like was it? a good like a good solid i was gonna say at know, least like a year, year we went through like a full oh. breeding season yeah. just to see i had already known what to do like yeah uh, it was kind of like, okay, this is great. I felt right back into it. And I had done it for a couple of years prior. Like there's a few people out there who still have geckos from us or from me yeah. when yeah. I sold them 12 years ago. It was, it was crazy. I was just out of college and I bought my first ones um, off Craigslist from a girl who I ended up going, was in class with Sam Badenhorst, yep. who I see at the Daytona <laughs> show now, which I love. It goes full circle. Nice. Yeah. And then I would used to go to all the pet co's and go search for all of the like breeder yeah. females because like that was the way to do it then. There was no like lineage tracking or anything like that. So it yeah. fell yeah. right back into it. But learning how to adapt to like the newer times mm -hmm. and the newer trends was a little bit more difficult. And I tried to like not sound stupid, but like what was white spot trait when I first started? You know what I mean? Like yeah. things like yeah. that. Yeah. So fun yeah. times. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. So, I mean, so learning yeah. kind of all the I love it. what's I, I, in. I mean, I'm so grateful for it. I think it's just such a great community and like the people that we get yeah. to meet regularly. It's just yeah. Yeah. so rewarding. Yeah. We've made so many friends through yeah. this hobby. I like them better than my regular yeah. friends that are probably yeah. never yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, That's amazing. Yeah. I said this before. I'm pretty big into community. Um, and yeah. uh, that's what makes, you know, hobbies fun, right? The community you can't just do yeah. by yourself. Yeah. But um, and you guys are naturally very good at community. I feel like, um, like you guys know everybody. And so, <laughs> so how did you, and how did you start that? Uh, how did you start getting plugged I'm in? Just, Where did I you mean, find people? So <laughs> oh, Gabby. Yeah, that's her. If, if it was me and I had, and I was just doing geckos by myself, I would, yeah. I might have a dozen animals fewer than that. Many people would know about me. Yeah. Uh, be a re I, like a recluse. I would be a hobby. total recluse. Yeah. yeah okay. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, um, I call myself the cruise director sometimes just because like <laughs> I, I can't help myself. I just I don't know. I love when everybody comes together and then I have yeah, great yeah. friends and then I'm like, I want you to be friends with my other friends and like let's just all be friends. And that's <laughs> awesome. kind of how like the start of Flora yeah. Fauna went, which if you want to talk about yeah. we should talk about it because that's a fun topic. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, I I'm just a social person and I feel like and we always say this, and I know this like sounds crazy, but like the best relationships you have are with your peers and yeah. you have so much to talk about and it's so easy that like if there's somebody who i feel like has similar like ideals and things like that it's just so easy to approach people and yeah. that's kind of how it started but now i'm like you're gonna be friends with you and you're gonna be friends with you and like <laughs> it's just it's amazing you're the you're the bridge. You're the connector of people, Gabby. Yeah. <laughs> I, I try. And I actually don't yeah. try. I just like like it. So it's, it's, that's just who you are. Who yeah. I am. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's funny because um I, I'm similar in the sense that I, I'm I'm good at um making friends, but I'm also an introvert. I'm just a social yeah. introvert. And so yeah. I could totally be a, a recluse like Brett. Um, yeah. I can I can I tell Lauren, uh, Lauren's my wife, I, I could just disappear yeah. into the mountains and not see anybody, but at the same time, I like definitely. there's a weird totally. tension. I, I want, I want to be in community, but I want yeah. to be by myself. It's it's confusing. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like oh, cool. I feel like after you do shows, you become a recluse for a hot minute. Like sometimes people be like, oh, "We had the best weekend. Yeah. How come I haven't heard from you for a month?" Well, we're just recovering now, yeah. so I totally yeah. understand that part of it. Yeah, do a show on the weekend, and like I'm gonna cut my phone off for Monday and Tuesday, and then I'll <laughs> I'll come back out on Wednesday, and we're good. Like no, our yeah, dinner that we fun. have planned for Saturday night, yeah. Harry's up to 45 people. And oh my goodness, <laughs> it's all gecko people. We're all just oh, gonna do yeah. it, so it's gonna no, be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. No, that's great that you, uh, you guys are just pulling that together and just kind of uh, I'm gonna put on my people. shirt next time, yeah. it'll say like Flora Fauna, Morph Menagerie, and then it's just gonna say yeah. Cruise yeah. Director Gabby. <laughs> yeah. It's literally gonna oh, adapt the name, it's going down. That's funny. Wow. Yeah. So, so I mean, so, so you start, did you have a lot of friends in the reptile community already, or did you start it from scratch, Gabby? So when I started, I did have friends that were honestly like, and I don't want to say it like this because they're still obviously relevant human beings and they're doing other things, but like yeah, yeah. people like, um, um, next world exotics, which is now plants. Do you, have you ever gone on any of John's like live auctions? Uh, just the know. font animal. That's oh, the one I I've, love Flexi. Yeah. They're my. They're okay. like amazing. Yeah. But I I met them because of doing the Next World Exotics um, auctions with him, 
And but anyways, back in the day, he would do professional photography and I was a hairstylist yeah. and makeup artist. And he would totally get me to come to his house at like God hours of like, like the craziest hours for photography, for uh, photo shoots. Yeah. Yeah. And he'd be like, well, I just hatched out these amazing calico ball pythons. And I'm like, okay, I'll do it. I'll get in the car and I'll go over and I'll do makeup yeah, for yeah, all yeah. your models and I'll trade you for awesome. snakes. So wow, we had awesome. to like that. And um, Mike Bell, he was big in, in it. And um, we did, uh, we, we got to tour his facility before he yeah. sold out. So like people wow. that were like down in South Florida that we would see more often or that I would see more often then, um, they were kind of the people. And some of them, like I said, are still in it but yep. not to the capacity of what we have now. Like all of the people who have been doing it, have been doing it for a long time, but I was just before like that um, big, like Facebook and social media, like, yeah. you yeah. know, blooming happened. And, and then I kind of just started from the bottom and made friends and hung out and <laughs> worked our way up and yeah. built. Yeah. We're in just one little alcove of our breeder sections. Yeah. So now we have like a new shape. So Dude, yeah, I wanted to ask you about that too. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a lot. No, that, yeah, no, I think that's cool. I, I, that's that's just what I do too. I think if it's the long game, just make friends one at a time, and and then yeah. other people will connect you. And uh, yeah, I, I think that's the way to do it, right? And so Absolutely. you guys have done anything. It's the best way to do it. Mm -hmm. It's organic, you know, yeah. and it feels good. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you guys vend a lot of shows? We okay. We, we used to vend a lot more uh, when we were okay. first starting out. Like we were vending pretty much every Repticon that was wow. in feasible okay. driver di driving distance. Um, yeah. You know, all up to like Baltimore, the Carolinas, uh, down into Georgia a couple times, things like that. Yeah. Um, now we've scaled back on the number of shows that we do, but, but... we stepped up in doing higher quality shows. Like we're doing Tenley yeah. now. Um, we're looking yeah, at yeah. maybe doing an Arlington show. Or, uh, we're hosting our own show. That's you know? right. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're hosting our own <laughs> show. So. Which is big. But, yes. Um, it's huge. Something for like a, like a sidebar note for people who are doing this and want to develop it as a business. Yeah. What yeah. we were doing was we were vending shows with maybe like, you know, I should say, I shouldn't say it like this, but we've always like favored structure and things like that. So you can still yeah. find really nice yeah. structured animals that maybe didn't cost an arm and a leg to begin with, but we yeah. started with lesser expensive, but still nice, great, like higher end for pet quality, things like that, you know, get mm. those. And we were doing shows and we would take all the money that we were doing shows and like pay ourselves back for like hotels and all that. And then take that money and yeah. be like, Oh, you know what? Um, Chase is doing a big sale on Zengex. Let's go and order mm. some of the like higher end things that we really want. Okay. And then let's go turn around and then get Kana Days because, you know, we love their yeah. stuff too. They're doing yeah. a sale. Let's go buy that. Mm -hmm. So every time we would do that for the first couple of years while we were growing out all these absolutely yeah. incredible animals that will mm -hmm. like literally mm -hmm. transform our business to the next level, we yeah. would go and yeah. turn around and invest and invest and invest and invest. And we just had the conversation tonight and I will tell everybody who listens, go out, look at adults that you love and buy their offspring. Don't try to buy, well, that obviously, <laughs> yeah, don't, you can always do that if they're ever available. But most yeah. of the time when somebody's selling you an adult, it's because they've either gotten all the genes, which is normal because we were having a big sale of a bunch of emails, but <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. they're, they're not the highest end or that's not what you're, you know, going for. If, if you're getting somebody else's like already bred and who knows how long they've been breeding for it. I'm not saying that, that that's always the case, but yeah. I love raising and growing out animals. And I think yeah. it's like yeah. the most valuable thing you could do for yourself. Yeah. So it's so satisfying. Yeah. So mm. now our, our geckos that we have that we're breeding. Yes. We, every pair, no matter how magical they look, there's going to be some that are, eh, they're okay. You know, you're yeah, lucky because yeah. you get the genes and you could spend a little less and have the fun genetics and try to, you know, bring other stuff out yeah. of it. But now you have like higher end and like, we don't have to do those shows anymore because what we mm. would maybe make doing like, uh, I don't know what kind of show, it, like when we would do Greenville, South Carolina, yeah. we maybe yeah. we would pull in like $4,000, right? Which for yeah. anybody working 
for a weekend making four thousand dollars is a lot of it's money, lot. Yeah, you know. But now we have a couple of geckos that we could say, hey, you know what, we're gonna put these out and they're two thousand dollars. So we could sell mm -hmm. two geckos online for what it would have yeah, taken yeah. us all that time to travel and do all that stuff. However, we still love connecting with people. So yeah. you'll still find us at shows. It's just gonna not be ads vast because time like with this collection and everything, it's it's just not enough time in the year yeah. to go. So yeah. No, that makes sense. I don't remember sense. what the question was, but that was the hell of a long <laughs> answer. Concluded. No, no, no. I think I mean I, I'll tie it, I'll tie it all back in, but I think that's um, that's that's a really good way to look at it. It just takes a lot of patience. I feel like yeah. you have to grow these. And so, so right now I'm in this phase of growing all all these babies. I have some yeah. from Yakana days, one yeah. from Chase, and a bunch from AJ, and a bunch from you guys. <laughs> yeah. And so, but I'm like, oh, I'm just I just gotta wait for these to grow. I I just gotta. I mean, for a long it's game, wait so two hard. years. Yeah. These things will be. <laughs> Yeah, yep, but, it's the um, hardest part. But take progression pictures; those are fun. Yeah. <clears throat> um, investing in like good quality photography is really great. Yeah. I took a cooking, mm -hmm. I took a food, yeah, photography class just to like yeah. enhance yeah. anything else. Like just do it all, you know. Have fun with it while you yeah. do. So, yeah, yeah. I heard you guys are having like a photography class yeah. at the Florida. Yeah, <laughs> it's cool. who's teaching it. Awesome. I think yeah, I'm, oh, gonna, I'm gonna host I'm not it. allowed to take pictures. He's not allowed. To. <laughs> <laughs> no, no pics. <laughs> Love you, honey. Honestly, I can take cell pics for crap, and some people do a beautiful job with that. I can't. Yeah. But we are gonna have a couple other people who are really great at photography, also. So it's gonna be like a like a multi person led type of um, round table slash um, uh, like seminar hands-on yeah. all those words whatever it is but that's what we're doing so we're really excited that's cool yeah my, mine are all just cell phone pics <laughs> yeah. super ghetto Listen, you gotta start somewhere we started there too i promise yeah yeah <laughs> it, it makes um, such a difference though i've seen to invest in like a legit camera yeah um mm. we started getting so many more followers on social media and making so many more sales if you can get good high quality pictures of your animals yeah because yeah, that's yeah that's what sells the animal. Like when somebody's mm -hmm. looking at something online, that's all they have to go by is that picture. So you want to give them the best representation of that animal possible. Yeah. Like how many times have you looked on morph market and seen somebody's like cruddy cell phone picture? I'm like, it might be okay gecko, but I'm going to pass on it mm -hmm. because yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's sure. so, so whereas, yeah. you know, you could have put out that high quality picture. And somebody was like, yes, I need that animal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as long as yeah, it's an accurate, accurate representation of, yeah. of the animal. Yes. <laughs> well, sometimes it works out in your favor because if they take a crappy picture yeah. and you're like, and I think I can see the potential. And then you get in, you're like, oh, hot damn, this is amazing. amazing. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. true, too. It works both ways. There is but... a positive and a negative. <laughs> both sides. We have found success yeah. by taking better pictures. Yeah, we have. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll just take uh, all crappy video. cell phone pictures. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Terry, you're taking oh, the class of flora fauna. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring your cameras. Oh, That's funny. Yeah, I'll make <laughs> I'll make it out there um, eventually. Um, it'll be great to see. Um, but uh, Brett, you you went to a Vegas show recently, right? With Kevin and AJ. Yeah. How's uh? Hey, was, was it a sad show or was it a okay show? <laughs> it was it was a fantastic show. Um, okay. I, we went to Anaheim the year before, so I was expecting another version of that, which it was not, but it was by no means a bad show. It was, we okay. got to meet so many awesome people there. Um, we got to hang out with, uh, yeah, with Brian Butler for a little bit and pick his brain. Yeah. Um, we yeah, also we're going to uh, interview with, him. Uh, Melanie yeah. with Protopia Geckos, and she was fantastic. Mm. Um, it That's was cool. great. Got to meet a lot of people there. Okay. Are you guys going to vend there? Um, maybe not Vegas. Uh, I'm okay. trying to work on Anaheim and I think that might okay. be in the books for like yeah. next year or the year after. Oh, okay. sweet. If you're going to be that, yeah, I'll, I'll make it out to Anaheim. It's, it's only like a five hour drive for, uh, oh, for that's me, not so. bad. for five hours. Yeah. That'd be, that's yeah. worthwhile. Yeah. It's Diz Disneyland's right there. Just make a ticket. Yeah, definitely. Double yeah. Trip. definitely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys yeah. been to Disneyland yet? Uh, we go, well, we have Universal studios annual yeah. passes for orlando since we're kind of close but we have okay. never i've i've only ever been to san francisco when i've gone to cali oh, right. so oh yeah okay yeah. yeah yeah make if you can make it out to disneyland if you guys ever been just come out a couple days early it's yeah. disneyland amazing like even californians that go all the time like are yeah. still amazed by it. really yeah, it's a really good okay place. that's good yeah. to know i know i want to check yeah, it out one day mm -hmm. 
I love Disneyland. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, they have California. Yeah, they have these two uh, parks next to each other. It's oh, it's done so well. Thing. Yeah, it's it's really good. It froze on them. We there? Oh, there, oh, no. you. there we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Occasionally it cuts out um, the live, but um, but okay. it's funny because it still records, so <laughs> it still gets a re- reaction of like, uh, what's going on? But um, so we'll, just, we'll just keep talking. We'll keep talking through it, even if it like, does that. Are you there? <laughs> Riverside, your stuff. Come on, Riverside. Yeah. But, um, um, okay. Cool. So, uh, so when you know when you guys were first starting uh, breeding cresteds, uh, what what year was that? How long have you guys been breeding cresteds? We're on. We're this year or like this time, and our growth has been about five years. Yeah. Okay. So got it. But prior to that, I did it for probably three, four years also, um, and always kept something, but yeah. really like envisioned what we wanted out of it and went for it over the last five years. Yeah. Okay. Got it. But yeah. Yeah. How, how, how big was your initial collection? When I was doing it, it was smaller scale for sure. I think I yeah. had about 20 females and like five or six males. It wasn't, okay. it wasn't the same. Like people cohabbed very very like like people had everything in like groups and Mm. you know this and that and i was much better about like trying to keep everything organized because i'm just very type a like that but um but no it was it was a different it was like kind of a different world and then like i said stepping into it this way i really like this because i feel like it's much more organized and i like organized yeah 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 Yeah, your your stuff is yeah i mean just by the way you keep your cages (laughs) You guys are very, uh, very on top, of, top yeah. of things. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Um, okay, so, you, so that, I mean, even that initial group, that's quite a bit of breeders. Like to yeah, have 20, it, was, it yeah. was a lot. I was doing, like I said, some like local small show. Actually, no, I was talking about this with AJ. I don't think I said it earlier, but I was doing some local smaller shows. Like, you know, everybody buys stuff on Craigslist and all that stuff. So, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. And then now, how big is your... How big is your collection? Um, okay. <laughs> my thing is That's we're at like, about, I think currently about six fifty seven hundred geckos total. We don't know. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we haven't <laughs> taken like, an accurate no count because things are always no. matching, yeah. we're always selling a couple. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Seven hundred is right in there. Okay. We'll okay. Just yeah. Spend, like, somewhere there, and we yeah. use like massive tackle boxes, and we still have four full tackle boxes of eggs at this that's time amazing year, so it's crazy yeah i don't really yeah, my, not... my mail just keeps popping in it's so annoying <laughs> yeah, no, oh no my worries. god i'm gonna just turn it on on my phone very, so very popular cool. um sorry guys. um you know no no worries no worries um yeah, yeah no aj said like after however many hundreds of geckos you just lose count it's like somewhere between yeah. 500 or a thousand you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just... too hard <laughs> You don't know how many, but you know exactly how long it takes you to take care of all of them. However that's right. Many that yes. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. You could probably calculate the hours and then just narrow it down to each cage takes this much. And this is yeah. how exactly. many. You know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Up here um, for breeders, though, we have like, what did we count to? Like 170 I, or something? Wow. Yeah, okay. it's about 170 total breeders between males and females. Mm, it's a lot. Yeah. How many females are you guys doing this season? Um... Some that are in use, break, but probably yeah. about yeah. 180. Okay. Oh, what females? Females breeding. Females breeding that we've paired. Now we're up at like 120. Oh, cool. We're at 120. Wow, okay. Yeah. That's It'll massive. probably be the same yeah. because we have a whole series of females that we've been growing out that we've actually been working so hard on taking photos of because we are yeah. so behind. Um, <laughs> we have a whole like probably 25 new females that are moving up into wow. enclosures. Mm-hmm. So that's why okay. at Tinley, we're working hard to bring, I actually have like the list here. Mm. These are all adult yeah. females that are coming to Tinley. Wow. Okay. That's cool. And they're good. Yeah. They've all bred for us and mm-hmm. so on and so forth. But that's amazing. We, are, we just yeah. have lots of their babies. Lots of babies. <laughs> that's and, amazing. And um, some- some way you start like bottlenecking like your lineage together, so you yeah. have to like separate stuff off and got it, got it, and part yeah. with things that you might not have wanted to part with. Yeah. Like we're looking at stuff and we're like, we literally can't raise six Caravaggio boys. Like we need <laughs> less. So mm-hmm. who's doing yeah. that? And that's the hard part because they're all nice. So that's awesome. Um, is it? Have you cycled through uh, female breeders? 
in in mass before or is it kind of your first time no we try to every year yeah every year there's always oh, some yeah. turnover okay. but wow. this is the first season that our collection has been this big mm -hmm. it's been um, so the amount like it, it scales the amount of that we're that we're cycling through yeah. is a lot more than we ever have wow and okay that's because yeah i was just doing the math in my head when i were talking yeah. we had 140 females going this past year oh my god oh my goodness <laughs> yeah <laughs> how many did you have last year last year was probably like 80 to 80 yeah i'm under oh, my, oh my goodness so don't listen to me <laughs> yeah yeah no no yeah we that's were also like, oh, so like 80 double. mark and then we upped it to about 140 this past year yeah wow okay yeah and we <clears throat> i don't want to take your I, I found like that's my personal cap, yeah we're at our we're at our and so i'd rather just okay. cycle stuff out and mm -hmm. keep the gene pool circulating this i don't know if this is like sounds horrible or not but like nicole yeah. um from nc yeah. scales and i yeah. will like send each other pictures and we're like do we need this anymore and she's like you gotta ask yourself and we always have this like <laughs> i deserve better you know what i mean like obviously it's a joke yeah. but like like yeah. you deserve better or whatever the whatever it is that we're showing each other yeah. and so yeah. we're like okay this it i have this like theory that if i put all of our animals on a table what would i pick up and what would i buy would i would i turn around right now and say i'm gonna buy this then i then we keep it and if okay. we don't and that's not it's not that we don't like it. It's just we really are trying to like mm -hmm. yeah. have if things where everything you pull out is ridiculous, yeah. you know? Yeah, man, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. I should just go over to your place and just buy like a dozen <laughs> top, yeah, anytime top, you well, second hand to top readers. Like, yeah. <laughs> come check us out at Tinley. So. Oh my goodness, that's mm -hmm. funny. Um, yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wow, mm -hmm. so you guys, you guys just doubled in, in yeah. uh from last season and then Brett, you're you're at your limit with the care, huh? I said, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. That's when I get yelled at again. Gabby, stop buying things. Yeah. Stop <laughs> buying. We have a platform to sell, so at least it helps. Like yeah. we can always like yeah. Yeah. you know, bring it to a show or do something. Yeah. And yeah. I just it's so great how many people love the hobby also that yeah. really just get so enveloped in in everything crested or you know, rack species or whatever. But yeah. it's it's really like motivational, you know. Mm -hmm. No, that's amazing. Yeah, and you guys have the auction too. I think you guys do do so amazing fun. on the auction. Thank you. Yeah. We have fun. I think the yeah. objective is for fun. Yes. And then everything else. Yeah. Is yeah your your auctions go for like four hours. I'm like, I, at that time I've I've, I've uh, had dinner, watched the kids, but I keep it in the background, right? And so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're like, I don't want to get off just in case that like one thing comes up. That yeah, I that's, have right. To that's right. That's so right. It's addictive. Yeah. It's addictive. That's funny. No, you guys, yeah, yeah you guys are doing a great job. Yeah, yeah. you and AJ. Thank um, you. That's yeah. really mm -hmm. kind for you to say. Thank you. Yeah, and it's growing. Yeah, I mean, just looking at how many people view it and how many yeah. subscribers. Yeah, just uh, it's growing, I'm, right? And that's uh, I'm pretty exciting. proud of where we've come. Like, I think, yeah, I think with this, <clears throat> with the idea of community in mind, like we just have a lot of fun, and we make sure that whatever we are doing, we make sure we do it for the right reasons and. And that's it. And yeah. it, it seems to find success. So it's a really, yeah. really gratifying feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Um, what do you guys, what would you say you guys are most known for? Is it your tries? And now, I mean, now Sables, right? But um, yeah. how, how about, uh, we'll talk about Sables in a second, but are you guys yeah. most known for your tries? Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely what we started on when we were kind of okay. picking to begin with what projects we wanted to start yeah. with. We really like, you know, tricolors and all of their different iterations, be it pinstripe harlequin uh things like that we just i really like uh, the tricolor stuff we both i'm like, really glad because half the time yeah. i'm like i hope he likes this <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have the same like, taste funny wait just look open the box yeah we yeah. have our own separate taste but we do have a, a big okay. mesh point in the yeah. tricolor yeah Got we, we yeah. if i don't think if we did it would be as easy or work the way it, we'd have to have like my side of the room and then his side of the room yeah, or whatever. It's, it's, it's yeah. tough to work. Yeah. Conflicting interest with, yeah. uh, or conflicting yeah. taste with, with the gecko. He collection. has some that I'm just like, just sell them already. And then he has, <laughs> them I, I know I'm like, just like, so we're selling sell this. Them them he's already. like, no, no. no right? <laughs> Are you on drugs. No, I really say that out loud all the time, all the time. I just want you to know. That's so that. funny. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think, I mean, uh, five years ago, was that when tries were just, Become, yeah, coming just... into the market really hot okay mm -hmm. yeah so you guys did really well riding that wave and it's still pretty hot huh we got lucky yeah. like 
I don't yeah. know at what point oh. the market just went like crazy. And I think it was when a lot more of like international sales yeah. were happening and like people right. were able to sell or sell at a higher price point <clears throat> that like everything went up. Like I'm thinking of mm. what we have. I just want to like show you something that we got for like yeah. seven hundred dollars that now would be seven thousand dollars or you know what I mean? Yeah. Things like that that you're so we were very lucky to get in at price points that we have. That's awesome. But now, you know, yeah. we adapt. And if somebody has something on the table and it's $5,000, we've bought it. You know, we have said, yeah. okay, yeah. like that. All this it's, an investment. Was, it's an investment. Yeah, definitely. No, sure. If it's yeah, something sure. you need to advance a project or to, yeah. to do anything like that, like it's worth it. You got to do it. Yeah. Important. Yeah. No, no, and it, I think you guys have the capacity to, to kind of um, move. I wouldn't say move like the complete market, but to, <clears throat> to be such a good, um, uh, you know, big breeder to be able to keep it going, you know, the tries. Cause yeah, looking oh, at yeah. your stuff, I'm like, dude, you guys have like the best tries. Like it's amazing. Aww, thank it's you. Crazy. It's because we've bought yeah. from people who also have amazing tries and yeah. putting yeah, yeah. the right things together, make, make a big difference, you know? Mm, yeah. So, no, that's cool. That's um, a great compliment. Yeah. Um, and so I know, I know you guys are one of the first, uh, sable <laughs> obtainers. So, um, yeah. how about the, what, what do you guys see, um, sable wise in terms of putting it into the projects and whatnot? I'm, I'm really excited. Yeah. I think she's fired yeah. up right behind you. Do you want to grab her? Yeah. Um, this is my favorite side of the room. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, she yeah. is she's enough. at least fired up for you. <laughs> I think yeah. sable is just really fun because at first I was really nervous after, everybody started um, breeding them. I was a little apprehensive that it was like a different line of like maybe cappuccinos. And before all the mm. crazy stuff came out about cappuccinos, yeah, I never yeah. really favored the super cap. And, you know, mm. of course we love Lily Whites and all that stuff. Actually, she's not. Oh, man. Yeah, I thought amazing. she was. She was just is, sitting in a dark spot. This is Cuckoo. She's amazing. Oh, um, so good. Oh, you know what? We also have Skinwalker. We have to show you him. He's is the that stable the, that we have Cindy? that Cindy has that we partnered with her on. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. So that we can um, make our own supers. But what I was going to say yeah. is, I was like a little nervous that that's what it was going to turn into. And it wasn't. They're just this different gene yeah. and it's significant and amazing. And when you pair them with like tricolors, so oh, down. Oh, no. no, don't fall. Um, <laughs> oh, gosh. Hold on. Here, let me give you her. This is him. Wow. He's hold on the lighting makes it really kind of hard but like yeah no worries you'll yeah wow so man yeah so this is gonna be the future pair and he's just this really cool dude that he's got all this incredible like lateral like like almost like white spot way more intense yeah. very very like discernible and noticeable and anyways here oh before they all start losing their marbles but um <laughs> here i'll hold her Oh, but, um, we're going to so, make super sables yeah, right now. Yeah, we're going to make super sables right this second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what's the what's the name of the the male? Um, his name is Skinwalker. Oh, he's Skinwalker. Cindy's okay. male, and right. he's going to go to Cuckoo, and he's also going to some other females. But we were finding we're so grateful that there's other people who have been like already starting in on the project and like developing it and doing more with it. Um, yeah. we're super stoked that their findings um are showing that like. Um, the tricolors, when you put tricolors to them, when you put like really nice orange bases, yeah. actually accentuates them and like makes wow. the craziest yeah. things. So we're That's really amazing. excited for all the potential that it has. But like some of the discerning markers and people ask us all the time, um, Cindy made this gorgeous like post and we'll share it. But like yeah. there's this like almost like broken like um, dorsal pattern that. Yeah. Almost turns into blocks. Yeah, it kind of gets really blocky. The obviously the head with the really thick fringing is pretty yeah. consistent on all of them as well. Yeah. Um, and then they have the white um, spots, and they only get brighter and brighter and brighter. Like it's the craziest yeah, trait. It, it, yeah. We're bringing one to Tinley, a baby. Yeah, sweet. Um, yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna Good auction. We're gonna finally release one. Um, we're gonna do like yeah. a silent auction for them. Um, and we're is it really a male excited. or female or is it we're unsexed? unsure we're just going unsexed because i don't want it to hurt me if it's a male <laughs> i don't want to like slight anybody if it's don't a female, think about so, it yeah no. you know yeah, yeah, one sure. of the do 
but yeah. I think there's going to be a lot of um, really incredible advances with them just because they, they work well with lilies. Their super form is a healthy yeah, looking man, animal. They look, amazing. They look yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and we're really excited. And we got so lucky. Like Allie gets so mad yeah, at me yeah. because <laughs> I'll tell you the story. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys can feel how you feel about it. But um, yeah. I was at, <clears throat> I was with Brett. We were at Battlefield. There was um, a reptile show in Pennsylvania that we were doing. It's a one day only show. And I said, Brett, listen, it's 830. The show starts at nine. I'm going out there, you know? And I'm like, I'm going to go my cash. I got my phone. I got my wallet going crazy. You know, I love shopping. It's a <laughs> Anyways, So I'm walking around and I go to Gecko Haven and someone was like, oh, Gecko Haven's going to be there. They're awesome. Blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. I said, okay, cool. I walked up immediately. I saw her. And I, and yeah. we got this other female, her name is Hawaiian Spice. She's this yeah. like perfectly pink with red dowel spots mm. and white portholes. She's so pretty. Yeah. We have yeah. a friend that wants to fight us over it, <laughs> Morgan. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I see her up there and I'm like, oh shit, I'm buying this gecko. Like, yeah. the, I don't even want to tell you guys the price point because it's going to be like, $500. Yes. And, oh, no. it's okay you can be mad um it was disgusting and i i walked up to cindy and i was like uh yeah can i have both of these things and so yeah, i yeah, yeah. grabbed them and we walked around and we like that was probably the best like buying show that we've Maybe. ever had and brett's like yeah. eh. It's I know. Okay. I was sort of like, eh, because this is what we were really trying to like develop our tricolor game, and it was no. just like black, black and white yeah. gecko. I'm like, this is. And she wasn't not... even black and white. They take oh, yeah. until she they get to adulthood color before they get a, uh... as a baby. Yeah. Yeah. But what was it? She was like a dirtier, like a brown, uh, almost a, like a brown color. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Just that really unique white. So. Wow. I know that's what kind of he was just her like, eh, it. it's okay. But yeah, like I want that, like <laughs> that contrasty, that secondary yep. color. Yep. And I was like, this isn't really doing it for me. Like, it's yeah. cool. I'm yeah. glad you like yeah. it. It's not something that How I big was it when you got it? Oh, she was like, I would say probably like 10 to yeah, 12 like, grams. Yeah. She wasn't oh, She wasn't okay. huge. Got it. I have some yeah. like of my before pictures and after and I'll like send yeah. them to you and we can talk about it or post Dude, it. That'll be, like, be amazing. Pin it if you want to. Yeah. 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 But um, yeah, we had, we, I, then I walked up to Allie and Sam because I love just showing all my my <laughs> scores and it's like such an addiction and you're oh, like shaking goodness. your hands and fists and I'm like look at what I got yeah yeah <laughs> I walked up to them and Allie was like I was just about to go out how do you find all the funky ones she oh, got man. so mad and then when we found out like it was a genetic trait she was or a wow. genetic mutation she is she like, went nuts Abby. wow <laughs> yeah, yeah she um, was how what from from purchase to how long did it take you to figure out that it was a a, oh, a genetic you know uh, it was like a year at it least. Was, it oh, was, okay. okay. It was about a year. We yeah. were growing her out okay. and we were like, she's super cool. And we were, I'll never forget. I think it was when we were leaving like one of the Schaumburgs or it was either the first year of Schaumburg or the Tinley or whatever before. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, we're in the car and I was like, honey, this is crazy. And I was looking at some of the, the people in Korea that had them. Yeah. And I was like, yeah this is a gene. And I messaged Cindy. I was wow. like, can we talk about this? And it's funny because yeah. when she was naming mm -hmm. Sable, she messages me and I was with Emily and Christy. And I think it was actually yeah. when we did that live. And oh, wow. yeah. And she goes, and she goes, listen, I need to find a name. So we like sat down and we like wrote out all these like crazy, like contrasty black, white, brown, and like different like yeah. colored animals and all these things. And we had Sable on the list. And mm -hmm. we're like, Cindy, you need to pick something that you like, but here's some inspiration. And she picked Sable. So it was really cool. Wow. Yeah. Dude, that's amazing. So she, she is the originator. Yeah. Of... yeah. So she actually, wow. we just met up with her the other day because we picked up Skinwalker and she was telling us the story, which I wish I could have her on here and have her telling it. But um, yeah, yeah. she bought, was it a group? Or did she buy a couple? Oh, you were maybe. I would say I haven't I'm heard the story yet. So. so she had bought. Uh, <laughs> she had bought like a pair or something. What it was? Something from um, this one business that went out of business, and I think they okay. sold out. And it was a brother and Rialto, and okay. yeah. she noticed that they both looked almost like what like some of the higher end cappuccinos look like with the like yeah. not as pronounced as some of the ones that you're seeing of sable now but like a muted version of um yeah. and so she's like okay i'm gonna breed it to this female 
And then she noticed that all of the babies were just 50, 50 and, wow. and noticed okay. that people like, especially yeah. overseas and were like, like, like harassing her for them in a, in a very nice yeah. way, you know, yeah, of course, of course. In, yeah. in, a, in a way where you're like, all right, sure. I'll, I'll sell you some, whatever, you know? Yeah. And then it mm -hmm. wasn't until everything started really growing out and seeing like how incredible they were looking mm. wow. um, and how identical they were looking yeah. to discern wow. that there is a significant, um, significant, like something going on here. And then uh, we had the conversation with Mumu Soros, Han yeah, Mu, yes. um, and I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. I don't want to offend mm. him. Um, we had a conversation with him and we had a conversation with Cindy. And then I was like, okay, Cindy, who are all the people that you sold to? So then we're trying to like track everybody yeah. down and swap pictures. And it kind of all started from there. Um, wow. Candace White has one. Um, Where's she, she from? is here in the States and she has some, I think she's actually bringing one to Tinley also. I'm not what's sure. Her, uh, what's her IG or what's her, um, Oh my God. She's going to be mad at me. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. If you don't I know, know, it's okay. It. I, and I'm just going to browse, I think hit her up her IG. Hold on. Uh, it's on here. I'll, I'll okay. tag her at gotcha, her. Gotcha, um, sorry. Sorry I know to put you on the spot. Blinking, so don't <laughs> mind me. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Yeah. Like I literally, I'm like, I do know it. Why can't I think of it right now? But yeah, yeah, no she's awesome, Sorry. and she has some. And she, in her findings, there, um, this I don't think we've talked about this anywhere, and I hope I'm not giving anything away. But we're yeah. Yeah. on some of the tales of the definitively like sable-looking babies. They have like a little bit of a, like a lighter to darker progression. Um, okay. A couple that we're questioning may not. They're very discernible when they are sable, in my opinion, as babies, yeah, okay. especially with cuckoo, but some other breeders that have sable and you're, you, it can be a little, it could be a little questionable sometimes. So like the best thing to do is just grow them out. Granted, I yeah. think we've come up with like a really great formula of what is and what isn't, and it's been pretty spot mm. on. So we're really okay. excited. No, um, so, okay. So with Cindy and Mumu, you guys have collaborated and uh, to figure out the the characteristics of the we're Jewish trying event. to he okay. has done probably the most amount of like outcrossing and work with it yeah and, yeah. yeah he's and, a lot yeah, yeah. he yeah. deserves a recognition for that for sure um yeah. and we're fortunate for him having done that because he's provided a lot of information about the gene so it's that's really cool. great yeah 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 the no that's cool the lily crosses we actually she uh cuckoo mid-season uh, laid duds. So we weren't sure if she mm. was just done laying. So we were like, let's pair her to a lily white now and see what we get. Mm -hmm. And yeah. if it's awesome, then awesome. And if she's done laying, she's done yeah. laying. Like no big deal. Well, she laid us four more eggs. So Great. our hope is Amazing. that we'll hit a lily sable. A lily white. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Does Mubu have one of those? Oh Maybe. yeah, he's got. Yeah. Okay, you should go check out his page after. He's got no, great stuff. Yeah, I'm always, I'm always looking. I know. Um, yeah. I think their name is like, uh, Jet Black. Oh yeah, Jet Black Jet, and yeah. Rose Pink. Mm -hmm. Those th I, are they. I, I don't know if they're they, the same they, business or they collabed or what happened, but I, I yeah, see them together yeah. a lot. Yeah, but they have like. A, I was just looking this morning. I was like, they have a ton of sables. It's like, yeah, <laughs> it's like a sable farm over there. Yeah, they yeah. got. I think there's a couple people that got lucky and had males. Like yes. if we had a yeah. male this past season, we'd have a hundred geckos. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or hundred sables, yeah. but we. Well, yeah, now, now you have that uh that uh, collab with Cindy. Yeah. So mm -hmm. turn up, turn them out. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> I out. we were kind of yeah. keeping it somewhat quiet, but we are crossing okay. it into exanthics and lilies this season. Cool. So yeah, we will have awesome. sables that are 100% het for exanthic this season. So yes, that's amazing. We're yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No. I, yeah. Really I mean, cool. no. I think it'll be amazing just to keep an eye on you guys and how you guys are progressing it and Thank pull. Um, yeah, dude. Yeah, we're super excited. Yeah, we're hoping super to do excited. it justice. That's the objective, yeah. you know. <clears throat> Hi. Yeah. Nice structure. Yeah. Beautiful colors. Yes. Like all the good things yeah. that you want in the world. How many? Um. How many American stable breeders are there? Or can you say? I'm not sure if oh, it's no, under wraps. I, I, or... I can say there's one person that I don't think wants to be okay. known okay. um so whenever she's ready she'll put it out there if she wants yeah. to but there's yep. honestly yep. it's just candace cindy and us that's yep. it you okay. got three in the cool. u.s so yeah, i amazing. obviously say support whoever you enjoy and who you like but i think that yeah. um it's really important and the hard part is like how do you price them and what are they going for mm. and here some of them are upwards of 22 and twenty-five thousand, and 
I don't yeah, know. So yeah. that's why we're I mean, doing if, uh, exactly Lily White. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if a butler's exotic lily whites go for 36 for yeah. to, to, to yeah. a brand new what are they, well, 50, so you know, yeah. yeah, exactly. So there's gotta I be, wonder, I wonder how much they sell for, um, sell sables for in Korea. Do we um, know that? So that's the thing. Nobody's selling them. Yeah. They oh, might have a lot, but everybody's hoarding. Yeah. That's why if you ever have a chance to get your hands on a sable, do it, then yeah. that might wow. be your only chance for a while. Yeah. yeah. Cause people okay. are holding on to it. Right. It's so new, um, that, yeah usually people take a couple of seasons to cycle through. So we wanted to try to create yeah. a little bit of a buzz and create mm -hmm. some excitement and allow people yeah. to Great. like enjoy and, you know, advance this awesome new morph or gene or whatever co-dominant incomplete dominant, any of those fun things that you want to. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's cool that it's you guys um, that you, yeah, you. you guys have a really good, you have the capacity for sure to. Thank you. Uh, We're to very big, fortunate. You know? Yes. Yeah. We've made good yeah, moves to awesome. put ourselves in a position that I feel like gets us into like really fun fun new <laughs> things so we're excited that's awesome yeah um what do you uh do you guys have caps fraps no or... and okay we never wanted gotcha. to get into it it's not yeah. it's like i said i i love frappuccinos and i'm not knocking yeah, they look it. amazing actually they're yeah. beautiful the fraps. yeah they're so pretty and i'm not even opposed to like seeing what that does with sable i don't personally agree with breeding something that is not as um stable yeah, yeah. you know i yeah. don't i yeah. never liked never yeah. liked super caps super caps personally. yeah yeah and everybody who i talked to is like i don't like super caps either but you know it's two genes of cappuccino so everything you breed is 100 percent cappuccino <laughs> or you know whatever genetic reasoning there is for it i i wasn't mm -hmm. a fan i don't think brett felt that way either yeah no, i just yeah it's gotta do a little bit more for me there's there's some cool stuff that it does touched i think yeah. that once you yeah. unlock a little bit more in cappuccino and throw it with some different combos and and get some other things right then it's gonna be stellar but it's not yeah. there for me yet yeah i yeah gotcha. we don't have any at the moment but i can't say that we won't ever have it yeah okay i yeah. think we're up for, for sure. anything like yeah. i said i don't ever want exanthic and i'll never forget oh this story i won't say who it was but we were at a florida <laughs> show this is one of those times where i didn't make the right decision and he didn't make <laughs> yeah it to me too. so yeah we yeah were, at a show and somebody was selling full 100% visual exam thicks for $1,995. No, no. Yeah. Not babies. <laughs> no. Like 15. No, no, they were babies. They were tiny babies. Oh, they're babies? Oh. Yeah, sure. I remember. I have a very good memory. I'm, okay. Oh, my but goodness. Yeah, they were like sub $2,000 for visual exam Oh, my goodness. And this was, yeah. what, three years yeah. ago? Yeah, it was before the three first and a half Lily years ago. It was before the out. first, yeah, Lucy Gray. And... We should have just did it, but oh man, and I don't really like them yeah. either. I'm gonna be honest; yeah. like, it doesn't really yeah. do that much for me, you know. Mm. Again, like we were trying to be in the tricolor, and like this is the anti tricolor. It was just yeah, yeah, so yeah. It, 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 but at the same it's time, different. I totally see its value now, mm -hmm. and I mean, it's gonna yeah. have long standing yeah. value because yeah. it's a recession sure. gene. So whatever else yes. you put yes. into it. Yeah. You have to build your head army and yeah. then throw it back in. Exactly. Yeah. And we were really lucky at Flora Fauna um, from Josh with Jerk Exotics. He's honestly my yeah. favorite. Him and Kyle from Cryptiles are our favorite people to buy Exantic from. Like, yeah. I got I got one from Josh. Yeah, you did? Nice. Uh, yes. yeah. A baby. He yeah. the ba he's the best. And I hope <laughs> he sees this and knows that we talked about the jerk. Um, yeah, Keith, yeah. Keith from Generation. Keith and Laura, they're amazing from Generation yeah. Exotics. They also have a big foothold in it too so um mm. honestly they were reasonably priced but still obviously you know preserving the market in a great way but we bought yeah. a male so aj and us co-own yeah. him so we Got have it. that and then we have some other fun stuff that we'll just eventually announce so it's exciting yeah no that's cool mm -hmm. yeah aj's like i'm just gonna try to like feed this thing i was like yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, his growth rates are just incredible. You just say there's a reason why I sit at his house. Like, yeah. he does a great job. <laughs> He's really <laughs> just I, I have, uh, I still have females at AJ's. I'm like, AJ, just power feed these things and send them to me when they're ready. <laughs> when they're ready. <laughs> we've, even, we've even sold AJ some stuff oh. that was, yeah. like, we have like the, clutch the, mate the clutch jars. mate at home. Oh. And then we'll go over to his yeah. house and like see yeah. the gecko. I'm like, are you serious? Like this mm -hmm. thing's like fifty percent bigger. Yeah, it oh, looks awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe it's his uh, his new food food line I too. Think it's his food line. Yeah, in conjunction yeah. with like we're good about bugs, 
when we have them in, but yeah. if I'm not ordering mm -hmm. them as regularly as I should, or yeah, it was yeah. really hot yeah. over the summer or whatever the yeah. reasons were, it was harder to get bugs in. And honestly, they need bugs. Yeah, bugs, bugs are where it's at. at. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of my some of my geckos are going. You know, bugs aren't as consistent with me. Just because. Yeah, not, it's not hard. Yeah, possible. the hard part about bugs, and, and this is like one of those topics that like I feel like everybody should talk about, but nobody talks about. So, at Flora yeah. Fauna, we're on Sunday. We're having a controversial topic uh, roundtable. Ooh, so nice. I'm really excited nice. because we can very easily talk about controversial topics without being offensive and still being yes. kind, but getting points across. Mm -hmm. um, we do find that our Cresteds love and do really great with growth on bugs and not in an unhealthy way. However, yeah. crickets, as we all know, carry tons of parasites and things like yeah. that. And yeah. so in the beginning of our journey with um, this, if something had worms, oh my God, sound the alarm, let's order medicine, go to the vet, you know, all these crazy things. Mm -hmm. And as we talk to more breeders, as we talk to more vets, which is pretty incredible, um, yeah. we're finding that, um, and obviously I'm not a veterinarian. I'm going to like disclaimer, like do whatever makes yeah, sense yep. for you, but, yep. um, most vets won't even treat them for worms yeah. unless yeah. it's physically ailing them because mm -hmm. there is symbiosis to their, to their, um, gut health and other things as mm, well okay. as um it doesn't honestly affect them like it's no. it's kind of crazy so yeah. as long as your animal isn't like yeah like dropping a ton of weight all of a sudden yeah um, or, like or, okay. or yeah just just looking generally unhealthy they okay. say it's fine yeah, yeah. and that sometimes okay. medicine can be more disruptive to yeah. their gut health than just Let letting them deal you know yeah, is it pretty yeah. common to have uh, Very. have worms? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. got it. Like a lot of times, people don't even notice that their geckos have worms because they're not cupping them up regularly and inspecting poop yeah. and doing this and doing that. Yeah, and I like see. for the longest time, we're like, we have a stash of Panicure and you know the different like deworming mm -hmm. agents. But the truth is, based on like a lot of research that we're starting to find, and I would like to put something out there about it. Um, yeah, is don't be scared. Don't freak out. It's not like a reason to return an animal. It's just, we feed bugs and a lot of other breeders do too. And it happens like it's entirely okay. okay. So it's, from, it's from the bugs. Crickets. It's from the crickets. Crickets yeah. carry crickets. parasites. Uh, yeah. it's, they're yeah. not unhealthy parasites. It's just, it's, well, yeah. I guess parasites in and of itself is unhealthy, but, yeah. um, but no, they're, they're got it. Got it. not going to harm. They're not going to hurt. There's no need to freak out. Like you don't need to race to the vet. We just had yeah. um, a vet during an inspection, I think, tell AJ that she doesn't even treat for it unless there's something really wrong with the gecko. And that might okay. might be an, a reason. It's not even a guaranteed yeah. option. So yeah, yeah. They'll just, they'll just pass there. it through their system. Yeah. 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 They just mm -hmm. come okay. on out and that's it. Okay. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah. So yeah. I won't freak out if I ever see one. Never freak <laughs> yeah, out. Okay. And half the time you wouldn't even notice yeah. it's like they're a little thin. Tiny. Are they? They're, um, what worms are they? They're usually. I don't want to say something wrong, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know what they are, but they're like, like basically long, like larva, hair-like worms that yeah. you'll see in okay. sometimes. Yeah, and yeah, it gotcha. is what it is. It happens. Mm -hmm. So I just yeah. wanted to put that out there because this is something mm -hmm. that's new, and I'd like to put out some more, like, um, specifically quoted by people who are in um, the profession, yeah, professional yeah. Yeah. veterinarian, yeah. professional <laughs> veterinarian, things like that. That's cool. but, don't freak out. You don't need to go racing. Just keep on feeding. Cool. And we're never going to not feed bugs and they're going to always have parasites. And yep. Yep. Um, banded crickets have less parasites, yes. but it doesn't mean okay. that they them. Yeah. So interesting. Okay. No, yeah. that's good to know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. That's really good to know. Um, yeah. So, you know, as, um, you know, we, we were talking about uh, sables and what is that kind of going to be your main focus moving forward? Um, are you going to hit the trice? Uh, keep going with the tries what what is your what is your future focus in terms of morphs and what you think is going to be uh exciting besides will, you know sable yeah. i think we will always be in tricolors in yeah. some way shape or form because we're always trying to tweak and you know like get the white that nice you know paper yeah. white get the right yeah. amount of coverage the right amount of expression um changing up base colors but i mean obviously we sable definitely has a place now yeah. we can't just ignore it 
I think it's um, fun. Yeah, it yeah really so it's re- yeah, us. it's really fun to kind of yeah. to to throw that in there too and figure out what its capabilities are, what it mixes well with, yeah. what it doesn't mix well with, which is equally important. Yeah. Um, and and do those types of things. But I, I'm really excited for the future of this based on how to integrate it with what we already have. We also do have yeah. like we have a small group of red stuff that we kind of work with. We have a great group of yellow stuff that we work with. We have invested over $10,000 between two animals that are crazy super dolls, you know, Yeah. which bring get, we're, we're trying to decide what he's sitting here watching me. He's going to eat my face. (laughs) Eat me. He likes Brett. He's just like obsessed with him. He just wants to bite you. (laughs) Yeah. Every time. Really get in there. We're trying to decide. um, what what boys um we want to take to the show so that people yeah. can see like who some of our bigger breeders are mm-hmm. yeah yeah um, that's cool so yeah. that people can see them in person because there are some really awesome geckos but like yeah. it's really hard because we're like well i guess we take them all or we take none we take a couple you know yeah <laughs> but we do have a lot no. of different projects too so we will okay. always be um aiming to do better with all of the things that we have mm. and I do. Uh, I'm very grateful that we're hopefully going to get ahead of the game with some of the sable stuff and like yeah, man. adding yeah. xanthic and all that jazz to it. That's the best. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Um, I think yeah, I saw on one of your posts. Um, is it the the you got it from? Was it? Was you get it from not Pangea? Um, the, your Dal. Oh yeah, the, we yeah. got some from Pangea. Pangea. Um, but they're the damn Daniel lines, which is Brianna. Yeah. First. Yeah, it looks amazing. So, yeah, they're okay. awesome, and we're really lucky because we got the second girl or we got the male first and then we got the female. They said it comes from unrelated pairs, but somewhere down the line, I think there's some relationship because they just look so similar, you know, (laughs) everything's related. Even if it was a line breed, we're not really, we're not unhappy with that being like intentional because holy cow, the babies, we were actually the first one are due up to hatch like next week. So. Wow. Sweet. It'll be exciting to see them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. So you guys have like a ton of products. You have sables. You have the tries, obviously, yep. very heavy on the tries. Yep. You have uh, da- Super yeah. Dallas coming up. Yeah. Um, yeah. What other What other like main projects are you guys looking at? I love. I love. Like, I have a big obsession for uh, white spot trait. I love white spot mm. trait. Okay. Yeah. Um, I love drippy stuff. Like, for yeah. example, um, War Room, who we're using, who has been doing yeah. an incredible job this season. Um, yeah. War Room is not really tricolor, but comes from tricolor stuff. So, you know, we put them in with the tries and we're, we're going to, I think, bring one or two War Room babies. So we're really excited about that. Yeah, wow. Sweet. Um, yeah. So yeah, we're going to bring some of the, like the good stuff. I wish yeah. it was, I wish we were like, I wish Tinley was like two months out because all of the stuff that's growing now is like it's awesome. Up, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. One of the dogs is coming up the stairs. No, no worries. Um, yeah. You got giant dogs. Yeah. We got three Great Danes. But this is the female. Well, she's just, she's just amazing. Hold on, oh let's see if I can try oh. to get her. But like, look at like that, you know. She's wow. just so spotty, and in person, she's just better. You know, it's so hard to like capture her, but we love her. We haven't named her yet. I have, we, yeah, have. we have debris. Oh yeah, she's debris. Duh. We just debris. Yeah, <laughs> nice debris. Wow. Okay. Like, debris. Debris. And, then the, and you guys have a, a male male yeah. for her already oh my god he's insane so maybe we'll bring him even though brett doesn't want to okay. get by him uh, we <laughs> wanted to bring a it. big adult sable so that people can <clears throat> see what it looks like in person but i'm just too nervous like that's yeah like i would a be too. project if anything happens yeah yeah so. that, that's like uh that's like half a mil's worth of investment <laughs> <laughs> that's our entire like big, <laughs> big money project that's true. So. that's your retirement right there so yeah that's the, that's how we that's how we retire for sure yeah, 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 that's amazing. But we will that's bring amazing. a baby, so everybody, and we won't okay. let whoever gets it. We don't know who's gonna get it because, like I said, it's gonna be silent auction. But um, whoever yeah, does yeah. get it, we'll, we'll just one of the requirements be like wait till Sunday so people can see it in person. So, Got it. Yeah. yeah, that'd be crazy if um, one of the Koreans snatched it and then we're. <laughs> I don't even know. We need, we need Americans. We need uh, Americans to. Uh, we need to, you guys to step yeah. it up, peeps. Come on, yeah. Spend the American. Bend Come it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Oh my goodness. There's one yeah. other one or two other people that really, really are interested. So we're gonna yeah. we're okay. we're trying to be really per um 
what's the word um particular about just making sure that whoever's going to do it will do it justice and you know preserve yeah, yeah. any um value and just integrity yeah, yeah. uh for doing it rather than just pumping things out and making yeah. things to make them we had a hard time with like lily white breeding because so many people would come to like a show and be like, we'll have this Lily White, and, and they buy like mm. the ugliest females <laughs> yeah. just to pair yeah. to just make expensive. Oh my clothes. goodness! Yeah. And, yeah, and that's not fun either. Yeah, no, that's one of my like pet peeves at a show is when people oh just come to the table and they're like, "What yeah. breeder females do you have?" And like, I, like, I try oh to God. deflect them like, "Well, what kind of project <laughs> are you working yeah. with?" And we can dial one in. It's like, "Oh no, I have a Lily White male. I'm just trying to to find things to breed." I'm like, "Oh no." Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Some um, lilies we'll, just make produce the most incredible offspring that are not lilies, and I think yeah. that that needs to still be the objective. Yeah, oh, that's, that's why I always tell people like that's the measure of your lily white. Um, mm. it, okay, lily white covers a lot of you know what's yes. going on um, yes. with the gecko visually. Like when yes. your non-visual lilies from a pairing are amazing. Yeah, that's mm. a good one okay. to have. Yeah, that's how. That's you actually a really good tip. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't just pair your lily whites to like weird yeah. stuff. Yeah, when the actually, when the non visuals them. look like eh, like consistently. Yeah, it's that's yeah, yeah. that's not really what you want to invest. Okay, in. exactly. You want to have good quality stuff. <clears throat> that's interesting. Um, uh, well, you guys uh, have like, like, huh? Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, go ahead, Gabby. I was gonna say we're bringing um a bunch of stuff from Donna from Crimson Crusties to Tinley, so I know. This oh yeah, been before. Yep. But her okay. stuff that she breeds is very intentional really and beautiful. So like buying her lilies, especially like in female form, which I think if anybody really wants to get into different genes, you should have mm. an arsenal of great lineage female lilies because yeah. every mm. single thing and ev anything that is genetically different should be paired to lily because it's something to bounce yeah. that gene off yes. of to see what it does. Um, yeah. So that's another yeah. Tips. But at the same time, the if you have the lily yeah. male, everything you put him to, you're going to have a chance of getting lily. So mm, we just kind yeah. of throttle our lily production. You know, yeah. I still like making lilies. It's a lot of fun just to see what right. different expressions can come out, but mm -hmm. I don't want to be swimming in lilies. Yeah. We okay. just have a very okay. small yeah, that, project. Yeah. Yeah. I was actually going to ask you about that because I realized you guys don't um, have a ton of lilies. Yeah. So, we uh, have, um, we have what, question. two males and we like four have, females. Yeah. We have two oh, males. Wow. Okay. One we don't use because yeah. he's Toad Wilson and okay. he regrew a foot, which is a thing. Okay. <laughs> um, and then the other one, he was, he was just Toad and then he became Wilson because Deadpool is Wade Wilson. So that's like our little, yeah, got it. Got it. Yes. Play on him. But, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. New so, movie coming out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> With Hugh Jackman. Too far out. I can't <laughs> handle it. Yeah. 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 Uh, sorry, go. <laughs> no, you're good. But we just have Dream Creep, who is incredible. He's going to come to the show. We're going to bring him so that everybody wow, can see okay. how nice he is. Yeah. And he's completely yeah. covered in white with yeah. like little fleshy, <laughs> like, sorry, that's yeah. Alice yelling. No, no worries. Um, <laughs> purple and orange. Like, he's beautiful. Yeah, it's a beautiful so. lavender he came tricolor. From, from um, uh, Chase, Chase at mm -hmm. Zengex. Chase but, Zengex. Okay. Um, but yeah, so yeah. female wise, we have. I think we'll end up with about six or seven big female um, lilies that okay. we use. And those will be really to honestly get some more um, sable into, um, yeah, exantic, yeah. that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. so okay, gotcha. It is, it is integral and it is vital. And we prefer our females to be lily rather than our males. Yes. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's really good to know and good tips. Thanks. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, and then, you know, I know we've been talking about the mix of a hobby and business, but, you know, mm -hmm. to, to be a little bit more intentional with business uh, side of things, you know, AJ always likes to ask like, where, where do you guys feel um, the market is going? Uh, where, where's it currently? And is it going to grow? How's it looking for the future uh, from your perspective? Um, I think it's looking fantastic from the future standpoint, just because, Awesome. I mean, yeah. things like we were just talking about Sable, like there's a whole, that's a whole new frontier that has to be explored over the coming years. And also international markets are only getting better as well. Yeah. Um, more people are getting into the hobby state side. Uh, so, I mean, there's just more people to sell to. Prices are going yes. up. It's, yes. it's expanding in all ways favorably. It's pretty sustainable. I think yeah. that um, there are always going to be like, highs and lows in the market right now. I do yeah. think we're at more of a, a little bit of a dip. For, 
Yeah. yeah it's kind of hard right this second. Like I'll find that a lot of people will be doing like male sales because nobody wants boys, but I also don't understand where they're breeding their females because we love buying <laughs> yes, boys, you know? Yeah. Uh, nice, nice, yeah, yeah. nice, nice boys, but we do love buying boys. But yeah, yeah. Um, I think the hard part is there are going to be fluctuations in the market, just like there would be in stocks and other yeah. things. And, you know, Apple has gone up and down, you know, just there's yeah. times where things that are really a great investment can, that can feel like it's not doing well at the moment, but it has consistently stayed high and the high end stuff always sells. Like yes. people are buying the high end yeah. stuff. The stuff that I feel like that is slowing down at the immediate moment is more of like the, um, I, I say mid wholesale and mid-range price points Yep, yep, yep. because yeah. people who are, are kind of working really hard to like, just, you know, keep up with this inflation and doing that are not being extra with, you know, their yeah. funds at the moment. Mm -hmm. However, it should change housing markets and all that stuff does all these things and the yeah, increased, yeah. you know, mm. rates will help slow this down. Anyways, long story short. I think we're fine. Um, we That's have this awesome. conversation with AJ yeah. often, like yeah. okay. what's going on here and how's this going to change? And yeah, you know, yeah. AJ's yeah. always wondering. Yeah. Um, always. Yeah. We ask, uh, we ask, we we're ask, always Kyle, to we... With way... we're always trying to come up with ways to, to talk about like, you know, what, how do we sell that like mid range of gecko? Because yes. like she said, the really high end stuff is amazingly easy to sell. It's and awesome. at yeah. the same time, I can go to any reptile show and take, 120 and under uh, price point geckos and they'll move like hotcakes. But the hardest mm. price point to sell geckos then is like $300 to $1,000. Unless it's you're just, like yeah. underpricing. Unless you're, yeah, just you know. way underpriced. You're selling like $1,500 animals for like seven. Right, right, right. $1,000. That, that it flies. But yeah, it's yeah. a really, really hard price point. You get stuck with some nice animals, but <laughs> you just grow them out. <laughs> and that's what I was going to say. They'll yeah. only all increase in value mm -hmm. by growing them. So it doesn't hurt to to just be patient and, mm. you know, hold on to what you have. And if that means, um, you know, it's an extra couple months, it's an extra couple months. Um, the other thing is uh, I find that like with breeding and things like that, even if you bought, say, a female for $1,000, right? you sold 10 of her babies for a hundred dollars a piece, you've already paid for it. You know what I mean? So anything that you're making off of that, if you had to sell something or whatever, is just all coming back to you to reinvest. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. or to yep. pocket or whatever you decide to do. So there's, there's definitely like a, there's definitely like a, a strategic way to do things, but mm. I think it can all still be done. But I do think that the, the market will go up again. And That's great. Continue to spike. Yeah, yeah. We, um, we asked the same. Coming. We asked the same question to Kyle uh, from Cryptiles yeah. last week, we and then that. he's also very hopeful for uh, the market. He says, "Yeah, looks looks amazing moving yeah. forward." Um, so that's really good to hear from just um, multiple breeders yeah. of how things are moving. Um, yeah, I see. I see the crested uh, world as kind of this wild west of the species where there's so much promise to continue to you know grow, not just in the community, but yeah. Um, for what the genetics can do. And yeah. uh, I think that's uh, it's really exciting time to kind of jump in and be a part of the hobby. And so I, I think yeah. we're really lucky to have them be polymorphic and take on different traits and different things like yeah. that and yeah. have such a vast like array of, of results and mm. have genetic mutations. Like for example, ball yeah. pythons, a normal is a normal and yeah. they might look a little different, but they're not that different. Like these are right. so different. And now right, we're getting right. genes. And like, if you have all of the things, you could put a lily white with a cappuccino, with a sable, with an xanthic, and whatever yeah. else pops up, that's stacking four genes. That's a big yeah, deal, you know? Mm -hmm. When back in the day, pastel and spider were all that there was in the ball python world. So yeah. I'm not saying we're not going to find stuff, but I will also say that having a lot more in the international world yeah. And them not tracking lineage the same way that we do here is allowing yes. for more line breeding, which is allowing for more yes. things to pop up, whether yeah. that means yeah. that the animals Agreed. are great or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not condoning one way or the other. I'm yep. just nope. I hear you. simply stating that more things are starting to pop out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Genetically, I think we're going to be, I think we're going to continue to move far in this. 
yeah dude yeah that's amazing yeah we had that conversation uh recently too just how um how <laughs> the international markets are, are breeding a little bit differently but then mm-hmm. it, they come up with all some some weird some uh crazy there's stuff some weird like, stuff popping yeah. out so <laughs> I'm not mad at them, you know, no. it's not yeah, yeah, a bad yeah. thing. It kind of, it kind of keeps like, you're yeah. like, like what head of the mafia where you're like, I don't get my hands dirty, but everybody yeah. else does, <laughs> you know, yeah, right. I'm not getting my hands dirty. I'm not the one doing it, but yeah, you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's funny just cause uh, the pool is just so small relative to other species just cause it's yeah. a, yeah. Newer, you know, and so yeah. we're just bound to, uh, yeah. New things to pop up as we put things together. So. It um, yeah. Um, you know, so for you guys, you know, business strategy wise, I know you guys are doing amazing because, uh, yeah, you guys just, yeah. I mean, in terms of just marketing and kind of your animals and the things that you move, it's, it's apparent that you guys are doing, uh, fairly well, but, um, what does your business strategy tra- strategy look like, uh, for the future? Like, um, I remember asking you guys, if you guys are going to have like a storefront, like what is, mm-hmm. what does the future look like for you guys? I still want to do a storefront for the, for the sake of just bringing yeah. more community together. Like objectively yeah, community is pretty big for me. Um, yes. And I think that as long as we continue to keep integrity in what we're doing, it's just going to keep growing and getting bigger and better and objectively just in mm. a, in a nice way, cycle through things and cycle through geckos as we just continue to increase our, um, level of what our expectations are for what we want out of our collection. Um, But genuinely just maintaining integrity, maintaining the fact that they are animals and that we actually love them and care for them and take good Mm -hmm. care of them. They're not just here to make us money. They're here to be a part of a passion that we have. Um, And, and you can't go wrong. Like they photographing Mm -hmm. them, with that one exception, they sell themselves. They grow our business themselves. They do the work for us. So mm-hmm. all of the yeah. all of the things that are being portrayed through social media and like our conversations and like people seeing what we're doing with auctions and things like that, they're really getting to see that we are we're just trying to do things in in like the absolute best way possible with yeah. you know with them selling themselves essentially yeah. you know. So got it. Yeah. It just take good care of them. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, your, your care will, will just, uh, continue to help, yeah. uh, your projects and your collection yeah. and they'll sell themselves. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. yeah. That's, that's how that's we're awesome. kind of looking at it is again, like she said, like, they're not just here to make us money. Like we're breeding to make what we want, like in an animal, it's almost like we're using these, you know, 140 breeders to, to chase like, those few like perfect animals that you kind of have in your yeah. mind's eye and you never really know until like it's grown out and it's fully, you know, developed. Mm-hmm. And, you know, until then it's always the pursuit, yeah. you know, and everything mm-hmm. that else just kind of helps feed the hobby. Yeah. You know, as long as the collection is at least self-sustaining, that's all I require of it. Yeah. So our goal for yeah. future is maybe have a storefront. We do want to have, um, like a physical location and move everything out of the house because it's just, oh, it. it's a lot, you know, even if it's <laughs> yeah. just like a warehouse yeah. or we buy a property yep. and build a building and like dedicate more yep. space. Like that is definitely yeah. a long-term goal for yeah. us. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think that where we are now is, is where we're at. We're going to cap for adults um, because okay. there yeah. should be no reason that we have, you know, 120 females or whatever it is that our numbers are. Cause I can't mm. even keep up. Um, the hat, they need to be the creme de la creme and that's it. And if it's not, then mm. we will continue to move on. keep growing our genes and moving through like holdbacks and stuff that we really love and, and bring them up and swap mm-hmm. stuff out yeah. and just Only you know. so many roster slots. Yeah, we have our <laughs> <laughs> we do. It's a big roster. It's yeah, big yeah roster. definitely. Um, would, would you guys, uh, you know, even like, let's say you have your own compound where you can, um, have a dedicated gecko space, yeah. would you grow it out even further? I mean, um, and hire help or we actually what is do have hired help. Yeah, we have some hired help okay. now, uh, um, that come through yeah. and help us, uh, you know, just speed, nice. just speed and spray and things like nice, that. Nice. So like I, we can be doing other things. I can be cleaning and taking more personalized care uh, of some of the geckos yeah. and, you know, making sure everything's growing out right. But if the space was right and I could really, you know, set it up more 
from like a work ergonomic standpoint and from yeah. efficiency, like I could grow it a little bit, but it still wouldn't be okay. significantly larger than what it is now, just because yeah. I, 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 I like taking, you know, the, the type of care that I do of the geckos now. And I don't want to, you start to compromise. Uh, yeah. I don't want to dilute that. I guess is what yeah. I'm trying to say. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, yeah. That's what, yeah. I'm not saying there are other breeders out there that are bigger that I don't think we agree with. And this is not anything controversial. <laughs> yeah, or anything. Nothing like that. But yeah. There, yeah, for sure. it's just not how we do things. Like if you look, you probably can see behind us. We have the yes. name, we have the weight, we have the eggs yeah. that are laid, we have the male yeah. that they were with, we have um, their lineage and everything labeled. Yeah. So like, every single thing is is mm -hmm. very well tracked some people yeah. have yes. really large collections that are much bigger than ours that i don't know if there is enough mm. um it's not that there's not enough manpower because you can hire people but yeah. is your attention to detail and mindful pairings and things like that actually that organized when you can when you have that many you know what yeah. i mean yeah, you can make yeah, totally. beautiful things. You can like make it. these great, beautiful groups. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that, but like, it's so much harder to track things and do that once you yeah, hit a certain level. And sure. that's one of the things that we would like to can maintain is having that sense of integrity that we are very mindful. And I tell like new yeah. people all the time when they come up and they're into breeding, we'll say, just be so mindful of what you're doing. Don't just put things yeah, together. Yeah. together. Mindfulness is the most, I think, important part of this is just really like sitting down and looking at things and saying, will this work? Am I bettering the mm. the community? Am I bettering the the species? Are we doing what we should do for it? And if the answer is yes, then great. You should breed it. If it's yeah. not, you should not, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So for sure. I think that's yeah. how we keep everything. No, that's, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, you guys are highly organized. For me, like I, I have 30 something, almost 40 geckos. And I'm like, oh, no, it can easily lose track. Yeah. But I have everything on a Google sheet. Oh, that's smart. You know? yeah, that's smart. <laughs> yeah. But you can't do that if you have so many, because then you're not going to know what's you have yeah. to like go to the sheet and then look at the tank, you know, so yeah. Yeah, what you guys are doing. I, I, like I said, that's why I want everything on the cage itself. Yeah. Yes. Uh, just yes. so I can Got look it. at that cage. Yeah. And I know every single bit of information about that gecko okay. that I can possibly write down. And when we like, yeah, I guess that's when we that's are tip. looking at everything, like I'm saying in my head, okay, oh, I forgot. I didn't realize those two are related and I'm seeing them mm. visually. So we got have it, like, even it. if we have stuff in on loan, I'm like, oh my God, I didn't realize that's from this yeah. pairing or that pairing. Good to know. This has yeah. this in it. That has that in it. So it keeps it more of a visual aid for when we're yes. doing things. Mm -hmm. okay. So it helps a lot. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, do you guys feel like you have a good family and uh, business uh, balance? I think, <laughs> I think we do. Yeah. We're yeah. very oh, fortunate. Do. You know, we're very okay. fortunate that we have gotten to a place that we're at and we get to travel and yep. like, yeah, we did Daytona. Awesome. And so we did work and everything that we made, we just put right back into going to Universal and staying yeah, yeah, right so and good. living a little bougie. And amazing. Nice yeah, like, dinners, yeah, yeah. You know, you, you have to definitely, you know, pay yourself and, you know, give yourself some time yeah. off and mm -hmm. definitely reap the rewards of, of what you're doing when you have that ability yeah. to. Yeah. It's, it's what For you're sure. going because if you're just going and trudging through and just taking care of animals day in, day out, and it gets monotonous. It like does. Really you, monotonous. Have to, you have to know to love yeah, it. Yeah. I'm still a big fan of going out and doing shows just because I like going out yeah. for the weekend. Like I'll mm -hmm. solo a bunch of shows. Yeah. I'll she's stay great. Yeah. She stays sure. home with Miles and I'll go solo a Got show it. in it. Charlotte That's or cool. wherever it may be. Mm -hmm. Um, just because I like yeah. that interaction. I like being able to talk to someone and sell them an animal. Mm. People don't even know what these animals are and be able to to educate. And it's a lot of a great opportunity. And uh, it also does yeah. a lot of like back-end sales and a lot of friendships, too. We've made so many friends through shows. Yeah, that's awesome. Not really necessarily like people that start out as breeders, but people that come and buy from us that – end up loving Become these breeders, animals right? so much like i want to breed too mm -hmm. and we'll introduce them to a lot of other our friends and then they'll keep going around and it's great and i also feel like yeah, for no, like that kind good. of stuff with him like i'm very like in your face and like in front of like yeah. the social media side of things so a lot yeah. of people know me so like it's nice for people to get to know him when he gets to yeah. do shows and see the other side of it too so yeah 
it keeps us yeah, both. Yeah, but you're such a cool dude. Present, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's fine. You're, you're like, so nice. Like, the... like, oh, I was talking to you online. I'm like, no, no you weren't. No, that's Gabby. <laughs> I do all of the online stuff. <laughs> yeah, like 100. We definitely have our roles in this, yeah. which helps. But you know, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. balance. Yeah, like it's one business. That we awesome. we definitely have split roles mm -hmm. uh, in a good way. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, you guys are such a good team. That's <laughs> amazing. <you>. <laughs> I would be yeah. like, okay, I'm going to hire every single person to do everything else, but I'll control all of this stuff. I'll do breeding. I'll do this. So like him taking yeah, care yeah. and then me, and don't get me wrong. I still get in there and like, we'll dig for eggs and like yeah. do cleaning yeah. and yeah. like help with feeding. I'll also help micromanage the people who help us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, <laughs> that yeah. Stuff. So it yeah. works out great. I'm really, yeah. I'm really good at that role. So, so that's yeah, good. it's been, it's good. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, you know, have you guys grown revenue wise year after year Definitely. so far? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Year. But the hard That's part amazing. is the, the like the black cloud of it is. Yeah, it would be nice if I actually didn't spend it all. Yeah, <laughs> we, we reinvest so much yeah. of what we make. Like, yes, we're making more money, yeah. but we're also right. investing more money. Yeah. Like all of this caging, you oh, know, upgrading yeah. all of the the animals uh everything yeah so we every that's pretty much awesome. everything that we've made we've put back in oh my god our dog okay. must have to go out out he's just <laughs> the dog is going the dog is I don't, oh. oh my god dude um we'll, we'll land but, <laughs> like for example a lot of people for caging like i love that more and more people are like leading towards like individual housing which i think most people have been doing for a while now yeah. but like investing in quality you know enclosures and like trying to do the best thing the craziest part and to this day and so many people have a conversation with us they're like what are you putting inside your tank like do i do this do i do that i'm like honestly we're constantly changing like yeah one year we're like let's put all these new labans in and spend eight hours drilling stupid holes and putting new dirt in and doing this and to just yeah. take it out to then let's start dirting everything and let's start digging for eggs which i absolutely hate um, let's do this. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's try this food dish. Let's not do that food dish. Let's buy disposable. Mm. Like, yeah, there has never been yeah. a year that we're like, well, we're perfect. We're content. We're not doing anything yeah, new. No, it's, so it has never stopped. Never. Like stopped. even now we just, I literally just finished today. We moved all of our adults onto substrate Yeah. and I get the last of it done and I've already got more ideas of what to change within the cage. So every five minutes is something different. So <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. I, would love no, to... I, I mean, that's encouraging. That's encouraging because, uh, um, you know, just experimenting and trying different things. Yeah. Um, yeah. Good luck. No, that's, that's all I got to tell you. <laughs> Good luck. I'm just learning from you guys. You Whatever ever... you guys do, I'll just do it. You know, you guys did all the research already. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've done so much trial we, and error. It is so, we've spent so much. So oh yes, goodness. our revenue has definitely like every year yes. kind of doubled in a way. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, it's kind of yeah. gross because my cousin does my taxes and I'm like, we did yeah. what? And then I'm like, oh, yeah, don't yeah. worry. We spent just oh, as much. Yeah, well, don't I, that's, worry. Yeah, you can track it back. <laughs> oh, yeah, we spent that on that. Yeah. All right, I'm not paying a million dollars in taxes. That yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's, that was, that's painful. I'll tell you that. But so maybe it's good to yeah. keep reinvesting because the value of everything grows. Just like yeah. any business that you have, you really don't want to have a ton of income. You just want to keep reinvesting so that the value yeah. of your business goes up. So in all honesty, great. yes, it's nice. Mm -hmm. You pay your bills. You do the things that you have to do. Try to make sure that your yeah. costs are not more than what you're making. Um, yeah. But all after that, just keep reinvesting. Like yeah. do it mm -hmm. because what was like yeah. maybe a hundred thousand dollar collection is now over a million dollar collection now. So yeah. If we wanted to turn around and sell everything, that's probably what we could make. And then some because yeah. of eggs and other things, yeah. but that's not For the sure. goal. You know, the sure. goal is to continue to just invest and, you know, roll with it. So yeah. yes, we are no, making more and no, we're not making investing more. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I mean, that's, that's really promising too, because like if you're investing in, into your own, your breeding stock and whatnot and the care, yeah. um, and you see that the future is looking good. I yeah. mean, there's, that's, a, that's awesome. Right. We're yeah. really yeah. lucky. Right. Um, um, yeah. This the hard part is for my like spending addiction is yeah. we're making so many things that we love so much that not that yeah. other people aren't making amazing things too. It's just we're making a lot of the things that we want for ourselves anyway. So 
just growing yeah. stuff out. I need the I need the charger. Um, just growing stuff out. Oh, okay. oh, I, got you. I think it's right in back. the bathroom. Yeah. Um, okay. Doing all of those things and growing and and going that route, we're yeah. becoming more self sufficient um, and doing like just all sorts of really fun stuff. So I'm really excited. Yeah. Um, honey, I think it was in the bathroom. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Your dog, dog is farting it up. Yeah. Oh, God. He's like, please just let me get this damn dog out of here. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so that is like, that is definitely where we're at right now. Okay. No, that's great. Uh, what room are you in, by the way? Because I know the, I've never seen this room. Okay. So this is actually the room. So it used to be an L shape. Yes. Let me see if I can kind of turn you. Now we have a peninsula. I don't know if you could see it. Uh, I'll have to okay. video it and send okay. it to you. So. Okay. Yeah. No worries. We yeah. did. Oh, I see. I, um, so, yeah. cause you're, what did, what did your, your camera used to face back here? Right? This, it was to this, the, but now left. what we added, uh, so what it used okay. to look like was this, right? Let me just get yes. angle. Yeah. Now we have yep. this, 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 this. I see. I see. Because Got it. We needed more space. You're just building it out. <laughs> yeah. Room yeah. was a thing. It still is a thing. Uh, um, yeah. But yeah, Hopefully you get that uh, that storefront or some That's a what warehouse. We about. Having a space is so vital at this point that, um, yeah, we're 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 definitely needing yeah. a little more room. So we're really it just sucks. Uh, then if it's at a separate location, you just have to go there. Yeah, like, kinda... that's the hard part. I definitely think that there will be um, a time where we'll say, all right, maybe we'll keep this small little bit here at the house or whatever, yeah. um, and have something else, but. I think it would be nice. I think the most ideal scenario would be to buy a home and build a building on the property if we had enough room. Yeah. Right, right. So, yeah, kind of like AJ has a separate. Has a yeah, separate, AJ's uh, lucky. Well, he's using his like whole downstairs, but, uh, and I know he's building his a building out of what he has right now. So like, right. A, right. I think that's going to be amazing. So that's what I would yeah, love cool. to have, truthfully. Yeah. Do you guys have a basement? No. No. Unfortunately, we have like uh, a big old concrete slab and we did a uh, like a new construction build on our home. Like our house was okay. new construction and like there was, sorry, yeah. we're plugging in. Um, no worry. There was no like option for it. So now that we have what we have, we're kind of stuck. The nice thing is the market did go up for a few. So like yes. the value of our home has gone up, but buying something right yeah, now is where like you, Where are you going to move to? You know, <laughs> it's so hard. However, we're really excited because North Carolina is about to get like five new resident gecko people. And we've officially said that really? we're doing uh, like a like a full blown gecko symposium here. And we're just going to host something, you know, on the oh, that's awesome. on the tales of uh, flora fauna yeah. success. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've heard nothing but good things uh, for North Carolina. Yeah. And uh, you can come visit and, uh, anytime I don't, and I don't check should. everything out. I'll come, out, I'll come out sometime. Yeah. Um, yeah, Lauren, Lauren and I, we were like California, born and raised, and all our families here. Oh, I love but it's it. so expensive, yeah. like you know. And it's like, oh, we got to move somewhere where there's more land. Yeah, everything here is so packed. The yeah. traffic is yeah. so bad here. It's kind of modern, and, and it's like, expensive. Oh, it's very expensive. Yeah, like a lot of people oh, dude, move here, and I'm complaining about things being expensive. And like, you could still get yeah. like, what would even if you paid six hundred thousand dollars for a house here, it's like a couple million dollars in a lot yeah. of other places. So. Oh my goodness. Banks, yeah. Over here, it's like one, uh, down the street, it's like 1.6 for like a 2,500 square foot, four, two, or something. And it's a tiny lot. It's like yeah. wow. 3,000. That's yeah. what we have. We have 2,500 square feet. No parking. And it is, it is a bigger lot. I think we have a lot of space. <laughs> so I, think we're okay. <laughs> I grew up in rural South Carolina. I'm used to whole number acreage. Not oh, okay. It's a, it's a yeah, great acres, size lot, acres. but I always make fun of her for saying that. Yeah. But. I think it's big. <laughs> I grew up in South Florida where you get a postage stamp, yeah. and that's it. So, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, but um, that's cool. Um, what what would you guys what what do you guys hate most about the hobby? Oh, hate. Most. Or is there anything that you hate? Oh, what's the worst part about about this hobby? I think that it's a. I think all reptile hobbyists have this uh, issue right now, but it's so much in disinformation and misinformation mm. on social media with people thinking that they know stuff and it turns into a really toxic community at times. Oh, got it. And yeah. that's probably what I don't like. It's just not so much mm. the person that's correct that gets heard. It's the person with the loudest voice gets heard. And that's not always yeah. the best yeah. thing. 
that's a good that's a good answer. yeah got it I yeah. agree I think as much as yeah. I love the community there's also discourse that's just like right is that the right word discourse, yeah. Yeah. discourse yeah um that I'm not as happy with however I still think it's better than it's worse so I'm happy with it I think yeah for sure hate hate <clears throat> Um, maybe some of the judgment and other things that are out there, you know, I feel mm. like, I feel like it's really easy to, to kind of like what Brett said to expand upon and like make a blanket statement about something. And then I think that there's definitely a lot yeah. of things that are subjective, um, yeah. and case by case. Yeah. And, yeah. uh, yeah, I, I, that's probably about it. Yeah. I, I, there's a lot that I love mm. and for every, yeah, every for positive, sure. I'm sure there's like something negative, but. I think focusing yeah. on the positive helps with yeah anything else. My like the blanket statement stuff that I'm always not a big fan of is like gecko care because the way that we take mm -hmm. care of geckos in North Carolina is going to be different from the way that you take care yes. of geckos in California. It's mm -hmm. going to be different from yeah. in the Northwest versus Denver versus, you know, New York. Like yeah. it's all different humidities and natural conditions and yeah. other environmental mm -hmm. factors. So somebody you know out in california that's getting advice from somebody in florida on how to take care yeah. of their geckos none of that may work for them mm -hmm. you know Good, or yeah. they could that, like mess up different. their yeah yeah. It, yeah you could do something and mess up your geckos yeah uh or something like that yeah, so yeah. the thing is like find breeders that are like in your area and make friends with those See breeders instead them. of just going yeah. on a community group online at whatever your your outlet is and yeah, do it that way. Like, ask the breeder what works for them. Mm -hmm. I yeah, also cool. yeah, that... hate, and I guess it's not really this part of it. I hate going to shows and people just having poor quality animals. Like, yeah. in a sad yeah. way. Like, can... that's what kills me is, like, animals that are imported yeah, that yeah. are not healthy, that are not cared for first or treated mm -hmm. first or, you know, vetted first or whatever the cases are. Like, not just crested. I mean, like, people that Any have, animal, like, the yeah. the, like, high, like, import stuff that like i don't know yeah yeah um this is gonna sound so judgmental <laughs> but what? you said judgmental. we'll hear it we'll hear it <laughs> hold on let me let me add the judgment back into the community <laughs> i don't maybe it's not judgmental maybe it's gonna sound bitchy i don't know uh i was at a show <laughs> and i was with yeah. our friend noel and we yeah. were like let's come up with a slogan for flora fauna and she's like Taking the meth out of reptile shows. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, honestly, I think I'm going to make some damn t-shirts. <laughs> and I, I don't mean to say it like oh, that, no. but like, you know, there's a lot of, no, there's yeah, a lot of a people stigma. that you meet out there and you're yeah. just like, are you stable yeah, 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 enough yeah. To, yeah. to handle animals though? So, yeah, exactly. So we're taking sure. meth out of the <laughs> Show. Yeah. there's uh, yeah there's some, so been funny. some people that like i've I'll, I'll just meet out and about and they ask what i do and i tell them i breed rep yeah. and they'll look at me weird not from like that's a weird thing that you do but it's like you don't fit the stereotype like yeah. you have your teeth <laughs> and aren't covered in tattoos <laughs> and aren't you know wearing a which i love tattoos and i'm I well that's true like be, like bad trashy like <laughs> tattoos are awesome I, like, yeah, yeah you know, i don't have any but i it. want some but anyway like you know what i mean like there's this a stereotype of what people have in their mind of what a reptile breeder is there's a look yeah you know? yeah there's a total look and it's not always that yes, you yes. know and no but sure there's <laughs> it, it's sure. like a level of like quality of like feeling comfortable and not feeling like you're you're being like sold something that might die and you know like yeah. there's just a yeah, level yeah. of professionalism that doesn't matter what you look like but when you're doing meth like you don't you're not very professional so <laughs> i'm sorry so you're like, gonna forget yeah, to exactly. take care of your animals <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly sorry <laughs> but no i'm i'm joking but i'm also kind of not i like I like yeah. that there are so many different people that are doing it. I see, I love families that are getting involved, yeah. like parents. And like our son asks us every day, and I'm not joking, oh, every, day, every day for a new species of animal, but he knows them all. He's oh. like, mommy, I want a yeah. Gila monster. And I said, you cannot have a Gila <laughs> monster. And he's like, why? Because they're venomous? And I'm like, yeah, because they're venomous. Like, <laughs> no, you can't do that. I nice, want a black red nice. snake. No, you can't That's have so a native species. Like, it's just, this is what we're going through regularly. And I just, I think it's really cool. Yeah. So I think, I think yeah, that's, that's awesome. fun. Yeah. So anyways, 
sidebar. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sorry, I don't even, no, I got you. I don't even know now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, uh, flora fauna wise, uh, what is that looking like for you guys for the future? Like, what do you guys have planned for it? How yeah. how do you want to expand it? Do you want to keep it more tight knit? What's so your this is what are my your plans? Baby. Yes, <laughs> I love it. Cool. Um, yeah. So the funny thing is, like, oh, the whole thing started because we were having a conversation. We're like, we are just sick of going to shows and feeling like a number. We're sick of going to shows and feeling yeah. like there's no integrity and care for the animals. Like the objective is mm. the animals, like they're living beings and you're soliciting them for money and you need to care for them properly. So that, and then yeah. there's so many, there's so much money made off of people vending and the attendees and oh, all of this stuff that there should yeah. be more, like we deserve better. That's always what we say. Mm -hmm. Deserve yeah, better. Yeah. It's always the motto for animals and gecko yeah. shows and all the things. And so we were at a Daytona show and we we're like, we need to change this. And so my mm. aunt called me and she's like, Gabrielle, I'm having, you know, a season that's like amazing, but there's this one weekend in June. I just can't seem to get it. And this was this past year. Yeah. <clears throat> and she tells me this in December, maybe. And we're like, all right, no, we'll it was take like it. January, February. It was early. It and was we short had the show that like we put very this together. quick, you know? Yeah. Wow. Like we had always <laughs> talked about putting on a show, but it was yeah. always the thing of like, okay, whenever we decide we're doing this, it would be a year from that moment. And it was always hypothetical. It was and it, like, yeah, it was a total we did this, hypothetical. This is what we would do, and yeah. we would give you this, and you would get that, and you would be like treated yeah. and, yeah. you know, wine and dine. And it never like came to fruition. And then all of a sudden, she's just like, you want this weekend? And I was like, all right, so she owns Windham Manor. Nice. Now, okay. nice. to run a show and to start a show, you would need a lot of capital as an initial investment. Yes. And a lot of people don't want to just say, okay, here's a venue, here's $50,000 on a risk. You know, a lot of a lot of people mm. aren't feeling that. I wouldn't have really felt that. Yeah. But I was like, yeah. no, this is amazing. It's a beautiful experience. It is yeah. a retreat. You mm. are traveling to nobody. Not one person that goes lives there, you know. People in New York only a yeah. couple hours away, so it's not that big of a deal. But um, you're located like really central to like Massachusetts and um, Connecticut mm -hmm. and New York and Vermont and all these places. So it really kind of yeah. encourages people on the East Coast to come up and check it out and do all this fun yeah. stuff. Yeah. But our goal was to make sure that we had top quality animals. Not yeah. if something was is was imported or looked like crap, you got to go. Like you're not allowed to be here. Like yeah. you're just done. Yeah. And by doing that, we yeah. created yeah. an invitation. Um, mm -hmm. We had the best time. Like yeah. it was like yeah. summer camp all over again Yeah. with alcohol yeah. and awesome. s'mores and yeah. karaoke. Yeah. <laughs> and we just karaoke. had so much fun. So we knew that going into it, the first show, was an investment. It was a risk. It was hard. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was really difficult to get other people than gecko people because people know us in the gecko community mm. and they're like, okay, yeah. let's go and have fun. You know, we always yeah. say our best buyers a hundred percent of the time are our peers. Yeah. Nobody is investing the mm. money that we're yes. investing in our animals that are not people that we are friends with that are in the hobby, yeah. that yeah. have a great yeah. business yeah. that um, are looking to further their business, whatever. So, why wouldn't we just have a show that we're all buying into and we all get to look at each other's stuff, you know, bring the best mm -hmm. of the best. Let's have fun. Yeah. Let's bring our money. Let's eat. Let's drink. Let's socialize. Let's become yeah. friends, you know? So yeah. Yeah. we put ourselves out there. It's, it's, it's like when you're 10 years old and you have a party and none of your friends show up, yeah, <laughs> like that was my fear. Awesome. Yeah. Um, That's awesome. But it wasn't yeah. like that. Like it was so positive mm -hmm. and it didn't have like a ton of attendees, but the people who came spent a shitload of money. Like yeah. they spent money <laughs> and awesome. exactly what we said was going to happen. Our peers bought That's each great. other's animals, you know? So yeah. we made yeah. money, maybe we didn't, yeah. but we had the best time <laughs> and we all came home with like really new motivating stuff and like, it was just such an experience and friendships. Like I see this one doing this with this person now. And like, mm -hmm. it's, it's so yeah. uh, motivational to see. So my aunt said, all right, Gabrielle, <laughs> she goes, I'm really busy this next, <laughs> next season. Year. I'm walking in. Yeah, I was like, yeah. please save me a date. So it was, it's May 5th. Mm -hmm. It's coming up. 
Um, we're bringing cool. a bunch of literature and t-shirts and fun stuff. We're offering, we have sponsorship yeah. now, which people are so excited wow. that yeah. everybody who came was reinvited. They're the initial group. They get first option Defender. to come back. I think all but like three yeah. are coming back. Okay. Um, and they all are super excited in yeah. sponsorship. So one of the nights, wow. uh, the first night is the Cinco de Mayo. And we're having a huge Cinco de Mayo yeah. party with margaritas and all this stuff. And it's the property mm. is the, there's a venue, but right next to the property is a like 12 bedroom manor house. It's massive and wow. perfect for parties. And there's mm -hmm. a fire pit and all this stuff. So we have nice. s'mores and there's yeah. a full open bar and there's a catering person and a house manager and all this stuff downstairs there's wow. a game room like it's so legit it's mm -hmm. so much fun yeah. um it's so impressive like people came and they're like this is amazing i can't wait to come back you know <laughs> so we have a yeah. cinco de mayo party that's actually um being sponsored by generation exotics yep. then the next night we have an wow. auction and at the auction we have past hors d'oeuvres and drinks and all sorts of stuff mm. and then we have another sponsor for after that and so anyways the show is going to be on saturday um, Friday's a preview set up VIP preview and sales and all that stuff. I host a live auction auction, <laughs> a live action auction. And it is, is every bit of exciting and way more fun in person. Oh yeah. It's a blast. It's, it's, a, good time. <laughs> it's a blast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we had so much fun last time. And the cool thing is the way that the, our auction works. Um, some people will put some things in for donation, like Emily Burke, she paints something and yeah. contributes that yeah. for auction. And we yeah. kind of all vote on what we want. And the last year was um, the people with the, in the school shooting, like we, we donated the mm. money directly to the children and the families. Um, so this year we'll do wow. something else. Amazing. And we try to give back to the community also in the reptile world. Um, also donations to us arc, things like that. Um, but anyway, so uh that's really fun because the people at the show bring one of their like most amazing animals yeah. right and they're it's not on the wow. table for sale it is like super hyped up for auction mm -hmm. and that's what goes on auction and they get 100 percent of what it is that's being auctioned yeah. so it's not Maybe. like a donation yeah. because yeah. nobody wants yeah. to really donate their number one thing you know yeah yeah you know so, we're not taking a cut we're not trying to yeah. be profitable off the fun. auction like we want it to be a trade of like awesome stuff. I always tell people like you have a whole yeah. season worth of eggs from a certain pairing. You have your one hold back with the one that you really want to mm -hmm. keep. And then the next one down, that's your flora fauna animal. Yeah. Or the one that you like, want to keep. Yeah, or the one you want to keep. <laughs> but like, <laughs> Any of them. like, yeah, I don't, for, at least for the auction, like I don't want to bring anything mediocre. Yeah. Got it. So yeah, that's so cool. Then mm -hmm. Sunday, yeah. and I'll wrap it up because I feel like I could talk about this for hours, but I want everybody yeah, to know because I do think the better the bonding experience, the more fun everybody will have and all of that stuff. Um, but mm. the the thing that we changed this year is Sunday. So yeah. last year we did, or this year, I guess, because it was just past June, um, we had a Sunday like shortened show, but yeah. Honestly, if you're traveling up there, you're going to see everything you need to see. You're going to have all the fun that you're going to have. We yeah. want Sunday to be exactly what we call it is the conference. And we really want to yeah. offer so much information. We're going to video it. Maybe you can uh, help Harry with what, like have zeros, geckos, <laughs> like come sponsor, like one of the lives or something, um, yeah, yeah. which would be a lot of fun. <laughs> and we are going to have a whole round table discussion about genetics. We're going to have a whole mm. conversation about lineage. We're going to have a yeah. whole controversial topics uh, conversation. Yeah. We're going to have, and we're going to have a panel of people and kind of chairs around it. So everybody can interact and we can kind of come up with like a bit of a format of questions, which seems like you're really good at doing. So let's talk. Um, <laughs> but we have like those kinds of plans. Then we are, we're also providing brunch so everybody can come and have mm. mimosas and bagels and, you know, hello, we're in New York, yep. you have to. Um, all sorts of <laughs> yummy things to snack on and, and whatever. We're going to also have, um, actual like classes or seminars, um, hands-on experiences. And that's going to be like a really great bioactive build. We partnered with a few people for that. Mm -hmm. Um, um, we're solidifying some more of sponsorship. So I'm excited to announce who those people will be. Wow. Um, and then we're going to also yeah. do the photography class. And, um, I think we might do like a, 
like one other, maybe like a husbandry kind of hands-on conversation and things like that. So that's kind of where we're at. And then after all of that, that'll be like the first half of the day, we are going to do like a guided um, nature trail with bird calling Dang. and um, like wow. burping. So we have a couple of people who are going to yeah. lead that, which will be a lot of fun. So that's, that's the cool. well, you guys have- whole plan. Yeah, you guys have a ton of stuff going on. I think that's amazing. Just kind of pooling all your kind of your resources and kind of your skill sets to make it like a full on experience yeah. rather than just like a yeah. And that was the goal. Show, we didn't know? want it to be like a show mm-hmm. that you just you come in Friday, you set up, you drudge through Saturday and Sunday, and then you go <laughs> home. You know, we wanted to yeah. have like the yeah. best aspects of all the shows, like the social aspect of ten. Cruise like, director over here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Highly organized, yeah, yeah. things like that. Just being able to sit around and like swap animals. Like the other yeah. half of the show came around when we were at a, another breeder's house, and there was like four of us just sitting mm-hmm. around before a show, like on a Friday night before we packed in. And we, we were, were with Emily and Christy. Yeah, actually, Emily, and Christy, Christy, and Sam and Allie. Like and we were all Allie, just uh-huh. sitting around, like swapping geckos. We're and like, trading okay, I want stuff this. I want and, this. I want this. Yeah, it's, let me show you yeah. that. 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 I was like, I'll trade you these five for those two. Yeah. And like, yeah, like it's all kinds of stuff. We were like, we need to do this, but like large scale. Yeah, we and had that, a lot of fun, and yeah, that was cool. kind of where the the like actual yeah. part of it. Because we don't, we're like, we don't even want to do the show now. We just had the best time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna hang out on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. And the cool part was, That's awesome. oh. um, like for the people who really we were so grateful for, like Kyle. That's why we love Kyle um, and Danielle mm-hmm. from Cryptiles. They're yes. wonderful. They yeah. did a yes. lot of promoting for us, and like there's just so many incredible mm-hmm. people that made that whole show such a fun experience. But what we did was we provided all the alcohol and the food and the non-alcoholic beverages and all sorts of stuff, so that at the very least you're going, you're, you're going to be cared for. You're going to have a great time. You're, you're enjoying yourself. You're investing in a, in a weekend vacation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then for, any, anything sure. else that happens is just coincidental or not coincidental, but like extra, you know? Yeah. So yeah. now that we have that, now we can do that even more. And so many people like gave us so much more feedback and they're all really excited. I already have sales, like ticket sales, and it's not even wow. 2023 yet. So <laughs> yeah. I say get on it because the VIP tickets, there is a VIP ticket. It's $150 a person, but you're getting Friday night dinner, Saturday night appetizers, drinks, dinner, Sunday brunch, access to everything. Like you can't go away for a weekend. You're feeding people. You get a t-shirt and a bag. Like it's like unheard of. So you really get a lot of bang for your buck. So go out and get your tickets now. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and then vending wise, are you guys looking to grow it more or is it to keep it what keep you have to actually That's you have to question. keep it really highly curated, right? With the vendors? Yeah. Yes. So the goal is for definitely okay. a curated vendor list. Um, we had yeah. space in the venue for more people to come okay. in. So we will yeah. definitely be more selective, like if other companies want to come in that maybe are in gecko stuff. The hard the hard part yeah. I feel like that we're having is do we just like really go heavy into just high-end plants and you know gecko mm. species but yeah. we had people who were selling axolotls and gems yeah. and other things and they're like wow. dying to come back and yeah. super excited about it so it, yeah. it's also tough to go away from the initial round of people that like took a chance and came out here on this mm-hmm. show yeah. like yeah they're always i can't yeah i can't tell them that they can't come back yeah. because oh we found be this other person yeah, who's a big name like happen. i'm not gonna do that like yeah you took the risk that's, like, that's gonna be the tough rewards. no we would never do that yeah that, but okay but okay initially like when i was at tinley uh when we were, when we did tinley in march i ran around like brett was great enough to like bend the table so that i can like do all the networking and socializing yeah. yep. and yep. i yep. spoke to probably I, like yeah eight really big ball python people and they were like yeah we're so Mm. excited we're so interested this is a great idea we would love this oh did you get this one on board or did you get that one on board i was like no i need you to take the chance and not one of them responded ghosted across the board (laughs) it was more like hey you know sorry i really i don't think i could do it and like yeah whatever some people never responded at all and i was i wasn't like thrilled with the lack of professionalism from that like taking all the time asking questions and doing that and so got it, got it. I think that it would be really cool if we could have like five of the most high end of this, five of the most high end of that, and like get some diversity because truthfully, yeah. we have yeah. crusteds, gargoyles, lychees, you know, um, Yuri's. Yuri's. Yeah. 
mm. I'm missing one. We have a one a pair Chihua, of Chihua, yeah. Kahua, <laughs> Brian. Um, Kahua. But yeah. you know what else we have? We have ball pythons. We have mm. carpet pythons. Yep. We have a tortoise. Wow. We have king other snakes. things. We have king snakes. So Sweet. there's so many yeah. like different, you know, like I want some hognose and he's like, no more. And I'm like, yes, more. More and things I have to take care of. Well, great. Once you get the you compound, the yeah, 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 your reptile compound. Yeah, totally. Compound. Like if if I could build a a, a space like to yep. fit it all takes, this and every yeah. the care is easy and everything else, like yeah. we could totally have more. We stuff. We could have more stuff. But as it stands right now, I'm just like no, no more. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, yeah. I do think that we we all are pretty um, harmoniously just in, cool. integrated into yeah. each other's businesses and love yeah. all the things and. I would love to. Yeah. I would love to see it expand um, beyond geckos, yeah. and we were we were beyond geckos. We had snakes, and the people that had them sold them because they were the only ones that had them. So it was nice, but um, I think that it would be nice to have some versatility, just because there's a really great um, a really great opportunity for people to connect, you know, and to try some yeah. new things and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. So, yes, but um, we are growing. Like gets, I'd like to see some, like, eventually see some, like, regionality to it. Like, we always have the Upstate New York show. And, you know, if we could put one on in, like, the Southeast or put a random one uh, on yeah. out West, like, not consistently every yeah. single year, uh, but I'd like to to at least expand it. Because I know it's tough, like, you know, p- coming from the West Coast to, like, Upstate New York. like. But if you're going to get on a flight a for any amount of hours anyway, just – Get on the flight. Yeah. Just keep going. Oh, it's, come anyway. yeah. it's a thousand percent worth it. Like I can't mm-hmm. not say that, but mm-hmm. at the same time, I would also <laughs> like to. Well, we had people flying in from Chicago or not Chicago from Colorado and yeah. other locations. Yeah. People were coming out to it. So definitely. it is a destination and ideally it would be nice <laughs> at some point every now and again to maybe like flutter one here or there. But yeah. Right now, I think the objective is to kind of grow what we have and yeah, continue just, with it. We definitely want to hone the, and, the New York show. Yeah, and make that like Got the it. consistent mm-hmm. one. Because like I said, if you're going to get on a plane and fly somewhere anyway, what difference does it make if you're flying <laughs> one hour or four hours? I'm not saying it's not a pain in the ass to sit in the, in the seat for that much longer, but you're already going somewhere. You might as well just go all the way. Yeah. Um, and the yeah, cool thing is sure. we partnered with Debbie and so we are, we bring in everybody's animals. They shipped us, we pick up for them and oh, we ship yeah, them yeah. out for them. Yeah. Team. Yeah. So there's oh, wow. like a concierge level experience with it. You don't have to yeah, worry about wow. not getting your animals or you could take them home with you if you want to, cause you know, you could drive, but if you don't want to drive and you're in yeah. California, you could still come, ship we'll ship, ship us your stuff. And we'll ship it back out to you. So mm-hmm. we did that for a yeah. lot of people when yeah. they left on the last run, you know? Mm. So it was awesome. Gotcha. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's exciting to hear that level of uh, detail on what you guys are planning and what's in store and just, uh, yeah, what's, uh, yeah, it'll be exciting to see how it grows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we've been working really yeah. hard. Morgan, okay. yeah. who has um, the Royal yeah. Gecko, she's been like partnering <laughs> with me um, on doing all of the like media and marketing and all of that stuff. So oh, we're, we're yeah. putting a lot of money and time and effort into marketing for everybody too. So we're excited about it. So thank you for asking us all the questions and letting me yeah, talk about it. Great. No, I love it. I love it. That's awesome. Um, you know, as we kind of like uh, wind down and close out, you yeah. guys, you guys said so much. This is not to knock on the other uh, interviews, but this is one of my favorites. Oh, I think uh, there's, <laughs> yeah, that's all the there's like a wealth of gentlemen, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> It's okay. I won't mean, um, call you yeah. out anymore. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> no, it's uh, it's been it's been uh, been really good. But um, you know, to close out, do you guys have any just uh, final advice for breeders? You know, how hard is it to break into this hobby? Um, you know, what are what are some things people can look for? And I know you said a lot of those things already, mm-hmm. but to kind of sum it up, what what are your thoughts on that? Um, if you're gonna spend a thousand dollars on animals, just buy one. Don't just get one really nice yeah. one. Don't, yeah. you know, just really put your, put your, be mindful. That's always like my, yeah. my advice is just yeah. really be mindful of what you're doing and how you're doing it. And just look for what you love. It doesn't have to be what somebody else loves. Mm-hmm. It could be what you love, you know? Yeah. So it's really more yeah. my advice is to be true to yourself, but you know, mm-hmm. put it, put it in the right places, you know? Yeah. It's also, sure. I would say like with the geckos, like by young, um, I think That's it's better to, instead of, you know, like the, what she said, 
like if you have like a two thousand dollar adult and you have the opportunity to buy four of its offspring for that same amount of money spend that amount of money on the four offspring mm -hmm. grow them out yeah. as they grow out you can sell the ones that you know went a certain way or didn't develop a certain way that you wanted to and then mm -hmm. you're making your money back incrementally as you're going and then by the end of it you have that one animal that you really wanted from that parent got it. And you almost got it for free because you've been growing them out yeah the gecko increases in value sure. that's the best way to yeah. do it yeah be patient yeah though. like don't just try to jump in and get a bunch of adults and think this is going to be awesome like <laughs> it doesn't always yeah no way. when you're when you're you know, like, breeding any sorry. any type of animal like you should from the moment you get your first animal you should be on like a three to five year plan like mm -hmm. not a oh mm -hmm. i'm gonna make this money back next year because that will not happen that way yep or buy a really pretty pet, and if you really get into it, then get into That's, it. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a good tip too. Yeah, it all works. Yeah. It really does. There's no wrong answers. Yeah. There's, there's yeah. no, you know, there's no rhyme or reason to it, but it is really fun, and I think that everybody yeah. should do it. So come back. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yes, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you guys. Um, yeah, any final words, and then otherwise we'll we'll uh, we'll shut you out. Um, Flora fauna, and then you know, Morph Menagerie, you could find uh brett and gabby everywhere um <laughs> any other final words from you guys uh thank you thank you for having yes. us harry we appreciate you we love what you're doing we love all your interviews i awesome. think you deserve you. some recognition and um, i'm glad that thank aj you. is thank getting you. to do with you and i'm glad that we kicked his ass yeah. tonight you know <laughs> <laughs> aj where you at man this that's is right. the best we episode didn't, by we far didn't him. we didn't need him we got this. Yeah, that's awesome. don't worry we can yeah, change yeah. it to um harry's podcast sometimes gabby sometimes aj <laughs> yeah you guys are welcome anytime to co-host <laughs> we'll just, co with we'll us just give time. him the boot you know <laughs> that's awesome awesome yeah well I, I appreciate you guys thank you guys so much um we can find you guys on facebook instagram you have your website morph menagerie um and uh, yeah brent and gabby are amazing people to chat with and talk with and uh, they're so down to earth so hit them up get their geckos and we look forward to seeing what you guys are going to develop with all the new morphs and everything that's going to happen. So we'll, appreciate we'll you guys. We'll see you in Tinley. Well, yeah. we'll, we'll, oh, yeah. we'll, we'll already we'll have met. Tinley yeah. in the future. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Bye. All right, Brian, Gabby. Bye, Harry. Take care, Thank guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Have a great night.